My eyes are puffy? The star of the world? The bad is finally over. All the good stuff is waiting for you. Oh my god! <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. Ha <laughs> ha! That's the sound of the geese. So you're really going to block the star of Gore World just because I'm defending myself against people? Are you serious? the star of gore world hey girl gang what up everybody happy friday oh my god i'm so excited it's friday i'm so excited to be here with you guys tonight uh it's butt stuff and cheese time as you know these fridays are sacred around here so thank you everybody so so much for being here i appreciate it y'all are honking honk honk <laughs> it's the sound of the geese <laughs> All right, all right, listen, tonight we have a lot to get through. <clears throat> I feel like I've been saying that every day lately and the streams have been long. So we have a lot to get to tonight. Uh, there was a pizza and bees stream, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it was something else, okay? At first I thought, oh my God, this is how it's gonna be with the new phone. And then I realized, oh no. I don't think she's using the new phone. I think she's gone back to the Samsung. It looks like the Samsung to me. That's for sure. Visually, Samsung. But the sound was weird. And then it, I remembered that they bought microphones. And I was like, oh my God, is this microphone plus Samsung? You guys will tell me. I think that's what it is. The microphone and the Samsung. It is horrific. It's like a horror movie. Every bite that she takes of the pizza it's it's all oh, it just sounds like a horror movie okay you got salad just off camera playing some game you could hear every time he clicked his mouse it is the worst sound of all time oh just horrific but she tells a couple of funny stories in that stream so we're gonna watch it and she's eating I'm going to say the most god-awful looking pizza I've ever seen in my life. Maybe this is something that I don't know about. I'm glad I don't know about it. Goes goes, she's eating a pizza that has hot dogs on it and ketchup. Ech. Ech. Yeah, that just ruined my Friday. I don't know. It's so freaking gross. We're not dipping already. Listen, I'm a masochist on a Friday. If I had to hear that nasty shit, y'all have to hear that nasty shit too. Marvin. Hey, Marvin. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. That's right. I totally forgot. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day, Marvin. Thanks for being here. Listen, I'm going to say this now in case I forget because I already forgot it's St. Patrick's Day. Anybody who's going out tonight after this for St. Patrick's Day, living it up, you better be careful, you little shits. All right? You be fucking careful on St. Patrick's Day. All the lunatics are drunk on St. Patrick's Day. So you be careful. All right? <clears throat> there, I've said it, so I can't forget it again. Thank you so much for reminding me, Marvin. I appreciate it. 
Yeah, that's right. It's like the perfect storm. Pat, uh, St. Patrick's Day and it's Friday. Uh, it's going to be really, really, really bad. All right. Before we get into our reaction, I promised the dossier of BBJ. So we're going to take a look at the dossier of BBJ. Before we get into it, I'm going to uh, just warn you. I did it in my low tech way, which means shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear any bullying, any shaming, technology shaming me. I had to figure a way to get all of this shit. Listen, I blacked it out with a Sharpie and then the paranoia kicked in and I was like, that is not Sharpied enough for me. So then I took pictures of the pages, page by page, and I put them onto the thing that I make thumbnails with. And I put these little black bars over the Sharpie just as like a double layer of Sharpie defense. So then um, I didn't know what, how the fuck do you take pictures from there and get them anywhere that we can watch. So I made it into a little video on the editor. Everybody shut up. I don't want to hear a word. The point is you can pause, you can screenshot, you can do whatever the fuck y'all need to do. Okay. We have the blood, the urine, everything, the notes that the vet took and the bills. And then I don't want to hear another word about this fucking cat. Okay. I'm getting fed up with this shit, with this cat every day. And oh my God, she's talking too much. Oh my God, she's not talking enough. I'm doing what I said. And then can we move the fuck on, please? Thanks everybody. Laura, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend, girl. Thanks for being here. It works. It works. The point is it works. Okay. So shut up. <laughs> Butternuts. Thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Um, okay, wait. I will put this up as I'm bitching. No more cat. No more cat. Here's a cute fucking picture of the cat. And then everybody shut the hell up. Okay? I put it up on the community tab. If you missed it, here she is. Wait, my little caption from Twitter. The beauty, key, uh, the beauty queen wants the feather to die. Look at her. There she is. There's your little BBJ update. She's looking fantastic. Her eyes are focused. She really wants to fuck that feather up real, real bad. Um, I don't know. She's not in pain. She's living her best life. She wants to play. She looks great. <laughs> oh, some idiot said that I put a, a filter on the cat's fucking picture. Y'all need help. Y'all need help. This is unfiltered beauty BBJ, okay? <sighs> Not a gamer. Thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. It's your birthday today? Well, happy birthday. Ooh, a Friday birthday and St. Patrick's Day. You better be careful tonight, whatever you're doing. Have a great birthday weekend. Julie. Julie. Hey, Julie. Thank you for the super chat, girl. It's been a shit day and a shit week. Same. <laughs> oh, and if you see this, eight plus years should mean more than... Damn. Damn, girl. Damn. Well, I hope you have a good weekend. Put all that poo-poo's in the week and enjoy your weekend. Chill. Hmm? Samsung filters, FFG, address it. I mean, the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying, she's looking real damn good. Real damn good. And people have noticed that her little bald spots have already started to fill in. Yes. Yes, they will fill in a little bit because her ears have been cleaned and she's not constantly trying to kick at her ears. So she's just, she's looking fantastic. Uh, Flay Art, thank you so much for the super chat. Illustrator who draws corn and lots and has a censor and it entered the chat to help with the censorship. But thank you so much, girl. Have a great weekend. Thank you for being here. Oh, Capricorn NJ. Oh, how very festive of you. Thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm sure BBJ is looking forward to her retirement and I completely understand why you're moving on from this topic. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Now, will there be a random maybe like picture or update here or there? Of course. But this constant, constant Becca, it's enough now with the cat, okay? It, 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 let her fucking retire in peace and let me get, get a fucking break, y'all. Not your average old lady. Thank you for the super sticker, girl. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Mrs. B. Thank you for the super chat. It's my birthday, Eve. I'm turning 38. Oh my God, 38 gang gang. High five, girl. Abuse you, you little shit. 
38, you little shit. I have nothing to say about 38. How could you abuse 38? I'm also 38, so maybe I have a bias. Welcome to the club. Happy early birthday to you. Have a great birthday weekend, girl. Solo, thank you for the super chat. Her eyes say thank you, FFG. Don't they look great? She's just, she's so focused and like, I don't know what the word is. Like, she's, she's involved. You know what I mean? She's like, she's all in the game. She's, she gets real wrapped up in it. She really wants to fuck up those damn feathers. It's, it's adorable. Adorable. Phoenix Flying, thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Patchouli Mommy, thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's Day. My dad's 74th birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to your dad. I hope your dad doesn't go too hard on his birthday weekend, eh? <laughs> but I hope he enjoys it too. Oh, man. FFG, just know that you are an animal warrior. Well, that's really cute. I mean, I'm not. But I'd like to think most people, if if given the opportunity like I had, would take it. You know what I mean? I have no regrets. Look, look at her. How could you regret? Shit. Uh, Bubble Kirby Von Pondu, thank you for the super chat. My fiance is the sous chef at a new restaurant and I'm getting ready for opening night. Ooh, opening night. Enjoy it. Have a great time. I hope, uh, I hope it all goes well for your fiance. Tell him to break a leg. That's fantastic. Dear, thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Enchanted Rose, you turned 38 on March 5th. Well, happy belated birthday to you too. Gang, gang, 38, gang, gang. PG, PJ Equine Lady, thank you for the super chat. FFG is becoming a cat person. I mean, no, no, but that that's an undeniably un, um, stunning photo. Look at her. Look at her. This dog person can uh, can acknowledge like a good photo was a good photo. And the little yellow feather is bringing out the little yellow in her eyes. Girl, I see I see the picture. I see her looking all cute and shit with her non-balding and her like intense eyes. She's adorable. I got nothing to say. Does that mean I want a cat? Hell no. But from like look, looking at a picture, I got nothing to say. Very nice. Very cute. Very happy. She's living her best life in her retirement. Tamara, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Your bed got delivered. No more mattress on the floor. Hey, leveled up. High five, girl. <laughs> well done. Flash of Blue, thank you for the super chat. Love from the Netherlands. Oh, thank you so much. Love from Canada. Right back at you, girl. All right. Shall we start with the dossier? Can we like just get that done? And then we can go into our Friday ridiculousness. All right. <clears throat> like I said, I don't want to hear a goddamn word of bullying. I will block all of you bitches. Hold on. Let me get my tab. And again, everybody shut up. <laughs> Wait, where is it? BBJ. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to like talk over it a bit, but I'll make it like the whole screen. Let's just go like this. All right. Uh -uh. And I'm, I'm, I'll am I'm pause like at need, whatever. There's no sound to this. So this is the blood and urine test. I'm not pausing a goddamn thing. Anybody wants or knows what any of this shit means, feel free. You pause, you take your screenshots, you do whatever the hell you want to do with this, okay? I'm just letting you know, these. this is called IDEX, and this is the blood and the urinalysis, okay? For, oh, did you see at the top there? BBJ Feldman. Isn't that cute? She's a Feldman now. <laughs> this is the vet's notes about BBJ. Yeah, that's right. BBJ Feldman. I really like it. It's got a nice little ring to it, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I think so. So here's the, the vet's notes about BBJ. We won't go over the whole thing, but I'm going to just pause right here for a second. I have the actual paper next to me. It's a little easier for me to breathe, uh, to breathe, to read. Uh, I want to say one thing before anybody fucking starts and I've already placed the call and I'm waiting to hear back about it because in the details about where she got her nails removed, where did I see? Oh, hang on, I saw that earlier today. They they have the little story of BBJ. It's cute. Client adopted her last night from a woman in Ottawa who was going to have her euthanized. Blah blah blah. Yada yada yada. Anyway, um, client noticed that BBJ. Uh, the, anyway, the nails. So, client went to have her nails trimmed somewhere embedded in her paws, and they wrote here. Four of her nails in the front paws had gone through the pads. But 
when it was happening, they told me five. And then it was just like, it's too blurry, blurry to read. You burn. No, it's not. It's just small. Listen, I don't know how you'll do it with the with the screen. You take a screenshot of this and you blow it up for yourselves, okay? Um, yeah, they and it was as it was happening, they had told me five nails, and then I read uh on this paper four nails. So I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Was it a mistake on the paper, or did you did you just maybe say it? to me wrong, keeping in mind that everything they say to me is in English. So it's all being translated on the fly. It's one way or another, but it's either four or five nails now. Uh, and then further down, it's, there's a lot of French too, by the way, anybody who's that interested, you're going to have to get on the, the Google translate if you want it word by word. But the vet wrote, sauvé d'une situation de négligence. So that she was saved uh, from a, like a, a negligent situation. You know, I, I actually don't know if that's exactly how that translates, but like she comes from a <clears throat> negligence. Like she was not taken care of, says the vet in the report. Okay. So these are just the papers. There's five pages of notes. Uh, it's the visits we've been to, all the notes from the vets. I've just redacted the vet's name, the vet we go to, and my own information. And these are the bills from the few visits that we've had already. And they show all the meds and, and, and everything that we were we pay for. And the things that the vets have been nice enough to like not charge me, let's say, a consultation or two, things like that. Okay? So that's what it is. That's the That's the proof. Uh, these, this is what I was sent her dossier, right? This is lame AF. Well, basketball chick, you can get fucked. No one cares. <laughs> I'm sick of being asked for these fucking papers and also being shamed about this bullshit. So there's the papers. You do whatever the hell you want with it. I don't want to talk about the cat anymore unless there's something worth talking about. Okay. It's done. It's done. It's done. Zombie shark meat. Thank you for this super chat. I appreciate it. What would you have done if Woody asked your sister? If you, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I hadn't really thought that far, honestly, because that seems like such an irrational and ridiculous thing to ask someone. I didn't think she would. Just live. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I appreciate it. I tried to explain it. Oh God, that's a hard thing to explain, girl. Carlotta, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Oh, bloop, bloop, you said it. <laughs> She's hair shaming poor BBJ. <laughs> Lorraine, thank you for the super chat, girl. My niece looks beautiful. Isn't that cute? Look, FFJ looking all dapper in her photo with her feather. Uh, Grizzly Beef Curtains, thank you for the super chat. Pa and order Chantal. Oh, that's so sad. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> oh, no, it's not funny, but it's funny. Sean, thank you for the super chat. It receipts. Listen, listen. Don't receipt shame me. Keely, thank you for the super chat. She gets no cat mitzvah. This is ridiculous just because she's a Feldman. Listen, I'm a Feldman. I didn't have a bat mitzvah. You don't automatically get a bat mitzvah. It doesn't work like that, okay? We're half Greek in this family too. <laughs> I don't, that doesn't mean anything. I just didn't have a fucking bat mitzvah. It's not that deep, bro. Priscilla, queen of the desert. Thank you for the super chat. Happy St. Patrick's. Oh, li listen, girl. Happy uh, St. Patrick. <laughs> Happy tattoo twin. Tattoo twins both have four leaf clover. I have a three leaf clover, but I mean, sort of twins. Man, <laughs> somebody actually tried to, anyway, you know what? That's a, that's irrelevant. Attic people can stay in the attic with all their stupid shit they've tried. Rio, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Seeing this in writing, it makes the gun even more disgusting. I noticed it said BBJ was 18 years old and yet Chantal says 21, LOL, liar. She is as usual, right? Um, I said yesterday too, the vet actually thinks she's probably a little less than 18, but they would rather like, overestimate than underestimate. So they went with 18, but everyone's kind of thinking 17, you know? Yeah. Only six pounds, only six pounds. And what's really sad from the first visit to the second visit, she's gained a little bit. And now she lost a little bit because 
animals hate that goddamn kidney food. It happens. You know what I mean? So until she adjusts to it, there's actually a little loss. So it's such a shame that she's starting it so skinny. You know what I mean? Anyway, hopefully she adjusts to it quick. She has uh, adapted to everything else really quickly. You know, she's doing great besides that. So th they didn't seem concerned about that at all, at all. Yeah, she really is tiny. Oh, BBJ Feldman's conversion is more genuine than Chantal's. I mean, you're not wrong, girl. Graveyard Flowers, thank you for the super chat. Can we refer it to the Hell, yeah, we can. <laughs> Dr. Stabler, I like it. Get a food topper. You know, well, anyway, we're, we're not going to discuss all that. These are all things that have been suggested and being tried, and we're, we're not talking about cats like that all the time now. West Coast Girl, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Well, thanks, girl. But some people just have to be hater ass beaches. And I love shutting a hater ass beaches fucking big mouth on a Friday. So it had to be done and it doesn't have to be done anymore. There it is. There's the state of the union of the cat. Okay. It is what it is. Minka, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Screenshot and my mom is translating what I can't remember. Have a great weekend. Oh, well, thank you to your mom for translating, girl. Brandon B, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Elizabeth, hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Oh, <laughs> your niece is just like auntie because her eyes say get F Sharmuta. She really does have a good like resting bitch face, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Never mind, Heather. Thank you for the super chat. She was six pounds. She's yeah, six pounds, just over six pounds. She's teeny tiny. Just the tiniest little thing, and you feel the little bones on her back, and so it's it's really sad, really really sad. Well, anyway, Ninja Cat, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe when it uploads as a video, you you, you know pause it at the right moment. Shred the gnar. I hate your name so much. Thank you for the super chat, you jerk. <laughs> Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bip Bop. Hey, girl. Thank you for the super chat. Don't accuse me of that shit. No. <laughs> no. But I'm, I mean, I like all animals. It's just like, it's not for me. Cats, not for me. But I wish them no harm at all. You know, bees and let bees, cats. Live your, live your best lives. Just not with me. This all. Just cat people and dog people. You know, we don't all have to be all type of people. Emotional support, Muffin. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Pixie. Hey, girl. <laughs> hey, Pixie. Happy uh, happy weekend. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Thank you for the super chat. All right, listen. FFG is a cat lover by proxy. Eh, I'll take it, I guess. You hate pit bulls, but I have... Save two. Oh, you know what? I always say people who hate pitbulls just don't know a good pitbull. To know a pitbull is to love a pitbull. Uh, Maggie would have melted your heart about pitbulls. She was such a dainty lady, like the queen of England. She was just like, she was such a, a little weirdo with all her weird, weird little like quirks and stuff. She would make you love pitbulls and be like, what is with this princess? Why does she act like that? It's so weird. She was weird and it was darling. You forgot to do your taxes. It's true. I forgot. Everybody, you better do your fucking taxes, huh? TikTok, bitches. TikTok, it's coming. It's coming. The deadline. TikTok. Pressure's on. Shunt Adler, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Happy Friday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Gino. Hey, Gino. Thank you for the super chat. Foodie would unironically argue that having BBJ live on a diet food is unfab. Can you imagine? Of course she would. Can't be on a diet. That's just cruelty. Should put her down. Has anyone ever seen BBJ looking that good with her? No. But she'll say she's miserable. Wait. Sean, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Can't wait for the filter complaints from him. Oh, she can get the hell out of here. She knows her cat and she'll know there's no filters there. She probably just never seen her that happy. M. Martinez, thank you for the super chat. Oh, stream early on food. Eating the pizza and curly fries. But yeah, the, the, ooh, the sound is something else tonight. Mm -hmm. Whimsical Mimsy, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. All right. We're going to get into the reaction before we do again, a warning. The sound is just out of fucking control tonight. Okay. I think she has that microphone like right by her neck or something. 
If you can't stand it and need to dip, I don't blame you. Have a great night. Uh, have a be careful. All right. And we'll see you this weekend. For anybody who has a strong stomach, <laughs> let's go. Well, okay, here, sorry, wait, I never put my thingy back. Shell, thank you for the super chat. We're, we're going to pivot from the cat. I'm going to say one more thing, okay? Besides the fact that it did look like on video that they had been intentionally trying to starve BBJ for a few days, beyond that, the kidney issues makes them lose their appetite. The hyperthyroid issue, the uncontrolled hyperthyroid, um, makes them lose their appetite. So... She had two like knocks against her already towards eating. And then it was like they were withholding food for a few days. So she's not only skinny because of those few days. Let's let's be real about that. OK, it is what it is now. Not treating those two things is cruel because it's what a pill and the special diet. There's really nothing to it. And in theory, once she gets used to the goddamn food, she should start putting weight on because the thyroid will be balanced. And so in theory, she'll want to eat more. I'm just waiting for people to come in. <laughs> if anyone does. <laughs> a plus. Oh, Don't call me that. You're gonna make me feel old. <laughs> Autumn Anderson, loyalty of 16 months. Autumn, wow. You don't even chat, but you support me. Thank you. Ready, chat, maybe we'll give you two for those. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, open, open chat. It's not open chat, is it? Ew, it is open chat. I forgot to fix it. <laughs> okay. How about I just have an open chat? Babe? What do you think? It's okay. Hello, guys. I forgot to change. You know why? Hi, Blacks. Hi, Beezers. Ah. The audio is messed up on her end, by the way. It will change, though. Don't worry. It's not going to sound like this the whole way. So did you hear that? Like, click, 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 click. That was him just off camera playing his game. That's how loud it is now to us with whatever they're using now, microphone or God only knows. Hey, Malarkey Meter, thank you for the super chat. FFJ's pupils look pretty big in the photo. Careful, she needs to say you're slipping her something. She probably will. She's never seen her cat so like into a game before where her, her eyes are like just that much into it. She won't know. She's never played with the cat probably. <laughs> all, all I've ever seen her do is hand handfuls of treats over to them. That's it. Golden girl. Um, I should have slow it down though or what? Yeah, you can slow it down. Then I have to change the thing, you know what I mean? Mm. Actually, a bear. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday. No filters. <laughs> Whatever, I'm fine with it. Um, that's not no filters. That's Samsung, but maybe with a couple of filters tuned down. That does not look the way that uh, Apple phone looked last night. Mm -mm. Maybe I'll just let people talk crap. I don't care today. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> My sound is weird. Why? Mod people? Hi, Veronica. Sounds like I'm underwater. Oh, hold on. I know why. The tiny oh. trash panda. Thank you for the super chat. You're right. I turned the Bluetooth off from here. This is from here. Up. Like this? No, not from the middle. From here. Ah. Nobody say a word. We all knew she was going to pull this shit. <clears throat> Let's let her simmer for like two minutes and then we'll go in okay nobody say it i know i know two minutes we will go in oh yeah because the the earphones were on oh. <laughs> hi guys so here's the deal hi freya hi beezers if i missed you this was supposed to be a beezers only chat but gemini hi aisha lynn um mimi hello yeah i'm having pizza today because i'm on a diet 
ketchup, and I also made some french fries in the fire fryer. <laughs> Did the drain ghost? Golden girl, hi! The, the camera's clear, huh? Yeah, this is no filters, I know. This is an iPhone. Glycolic! Hello! And uh, I noticed a few things. <laughs> Trixie! Open chat was iconic. I might do some more of, of in the future. It was nice to chat with people who uh, who aren't normally around, you know? Hello, Andre Marie. It's nice to see you guys here. What will she try to strike Jessica Messica for reacting to her? The hypocrisy is shocking. Are you serious? No, you've got to be joking. Hi, PNV. Well, actually, on the topic of hypocrites. Hi, Big Toe, Breeze. Hello. I'm so happy that you guys are here. <clears throat> her thumbnail, by the way, was a picture of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Patricia Murray, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, we'll see you, baby. Bye. Love you. I'll be in soon, okay? Yeah, we'll see. Um, so... Oh, you mean, okay, so here. Why is somebody, like, literally, do you guys not remember when I, let's speak about hypocrites. First of all, the obvious, my thumbnail. Have you seen, did you not see when I first came to Kuwait, this hideous beast said, oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna co cover her in Kuwait. It, it's too boring. Literally, every single thing I upload, she covers. So again, where's your where's your hiatus on my content? Just like booze in, just like everybody. I didn't say Patricia. I wasn't gonna react to her in Kuwait. I said I avoid her couples channel like the plague and her most boring shit. I wouldn't bother. Just like yesterday, we skipped over more than we watched. That's us ignoring the boring shit. My Kuwait arc is boring, yet every single person uses it every single day for hours. So how is it boring? Pen by pen. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Flop error, shut the fuck up. Go away. Bye, you're blocked. So, I don't want any of her freaking supporters in here. Oh, flop I'm... error just got the boot. Oh, that's so sad. Um, <clears throat> I don't care about the BBJ situation. I'm not talking about it anymore. She's obviously using that cat for views and money. So, who cares? The courts in Canada really, yeah. Anyway. You don't want to address it now that a vet even called you a situation de negligence? De negligence. You know what that means? You're French. You're negligent. A vet, a doctor wrote it down themselves. You don't want to address it anymore? Figures. Promise. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Quay Arc is boring. I'm never going to cover her. What else do you have to do? Seriously, you literally talk about me posting a picture of my uh, hamster in the air fryer as a joke. You literally are talking about me eating pizza when your chins are like 500 times bigger than mine. Seriously, look at the friggin' prof look at my, my uh, profile pic, or profile pic, what do you call it? Thumbnail. Look at the thumbnail. Seriously. How many, like, how many pizzas do you eat in secret? There's a reason you're not showing yourself on camera. Because you are disgusted with how you look. You hate being fat, so you take it out on everyone else. Upload a date vlog challenge, seriously. <clears throat> The fuck is she projecting? At this point, you're the most money content wise. No, BBJ is the most money content wise right now. She's literally torturing a cat, claiming it's in. You take a picture of her, anyone can do that. Doesn't mean the cat's not suffering. Oh, she's do oh, she's on the men, really? Let's My God, let's see a video look of her. Like a let's suffering cat. Do you she's so full of shit. Uh, BBJ Feldman is thriving, bitch, thriving, living the best part of her life in the most comfort she's ever had, being played with and doted on and given the attention she never has been. Hmm? Stay mad, baby. Illyria Sand, thank you for the super chat. Suffering. If it has severe arthritis and so many other things, she's disgusting. First of all, how she attained the cat makes her a piece of shit, number one to begin with. And then to go and milk it for views and everything else makes her a bigger piece of crap. But whatever, I'm not even talking about that anymore. You can call me an animal abuser all you want. I don't care. I've already said that. Um, it's all the same morons who do it anyways. The point is, <laughs> I'm here to laugh at her fat, ugly face, her 800 chins that she has to use me for content. Have you seen her video of the guy that she lusts over? 5,000 views. So 
the fact that you sit there and like, I'm not going to cover her content. You're the biggest, fattest liar ever. Are you kidding? You have nothing else. You can't do anything else. So. You know what the irony of the 5,000 view dig about the, the videos we do about Evie? Everest Traveler's Tale. I like those videos. I like branching out. I don't give a damn if there's 5,000 views. Like, nothing wrong with 5,000 views, number one. I get to talk about, some, like, or just a random thing that I enjoy, number two. And uh, Chantal, how come 5,000 views is something to be shit on when it's on my channel? But when your piece of shit couple's channel doesn't do any better, you don't think it's a fail? You waited your whole life to have a man claim you and make a fucking couple's channel. And the best you can do is pretty much 5,000 views. Why are you shitting on the traveler sales videos? Those are fantastic. Better than anything you've ever put out. That's for sure. Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat, girl. What? Like these people have to resort to talking about me eating pizza? Like what the hell? Honestly. So anyways... Um, and another thing, you know, what's funny. I haven't even mentioned the pizza. I did say how disgusting it is in my mind to have hot dog on a pizza. I didn't mention her eating a pizza. The, the, the title of our stream tonight is called foodie beauties. Kuwaiti trap house has rats and BBJ's vet file. Where do you see anything about the pizza? Stop projecting. Hmm. You're talking about me, me and secret pizzas and stuff. Girl, that's you, you fucking weirdo. You're projecting all your weird pizza shit onto me. Damn. We came here to talk about BBJ, rats, butt stuff, and cheese. Bees and let bees. What the hell is wrong with you? Rad Plaid, thank you for the super chat, girl. Another thing, and I saw a really good point about this. Like, this biage is harping on me for my cat care. Are you kidding? You hang out and get high and then drive home high, by the way. You get high with the biggest lowlife, oh, Shannon, who literally locks her dogs. When I Last time I went to Shannon's house, she locked her dog because she can't control it. So when she can't control her dog because she doesn't even bother to get it trained or whatever, doesn't take care of it, she locks it in a bedroom. The whole time I was there, it was squealing to come out, pawing at the door. She was yelling at it. Ah! She, lets, she didn't take her dog to the vets on time. You're talking about Shannon locking up a dog in a bedroom when you're over there? It's because of you. Because you're probably, like, oh, I don't like dogs. Oh, I can't handle Bo. Bo is an adorable little baby, okay? Bo is a full of energy, male, like adolescent dog. You don't know anything about dogs. I love dogs. What do I do when I'm over there? I'm playing with Bo. Bo will keep on bringing me. He has these like rubber, these big rubber toys. He will not stop the entire time you're there just bringing you the rubber toys and you throw the toes, the toys for Bo. Bo lives his best life when I'm over there. You know what I mean? I, I brought Bo a bone the last time I went over there. Oh my God, he was living for that fucking bone. Only when you go over, because you hate animals and animals fucking hate you, do people have to lock up their pets because the queen has arrived. Get the fuck out of here. That's not how she behaves. That's because of you, asshole. Nasif, thank you for the super chat, girl. So where's the outrage for her? Where's the outrage for her? She didn't stay with Shannon for hours that late. Exactly. They got super high to the point where they have to laugh. They have nothing to talk about, nothing to do, no content. They go live. I know thousand milligram edible didn't just have something to say about me and Shannon being super high. Yeah, we were super high in the Western world over here. Oh, Canada, where it's legal. Like you've said a million fucking times, Chantal, we didn't take thousand milligram edibles and neither one of us certainly drove high. Stayed there for hours. We were going to stream that night on this channel. Why didn't we? Because I ended up having to wait so many freaking hours to be able to drive because I was wrecked, girl. Not everyone behaves like you. I thought that had already been established. Hmm? You're the asshole. You're the irresponsible one. And you're the menace to society. Don't put us all in your fucking sinking fucking canoe. And talk about my Uncle Phyllis, how they saw her in Walmart. Of course she would be in Walmart, number one. She just called her Uncle Phyllis. What? If that wasn't the best slip ever, you just called her Uncle Phyllis. Oh my God, that was fucking hilarious. Number two, of course you would have the milk of that for views too. Who are you calling uncle? You legit look like Randy Quaid. I've never seen an uglier woman in my entire life from the inside out. You really need to cool it. There's a reason you're not on camera. There's a reason. The guy who do vlogs in the snow, he doesn't even see if she exists. He would uh oh he does 
Uh, he made soup last week. He said bloop to the girl gang in the comments this week. Girl, stay mad. Stay jelly. I don't know what to tell you. You you can't even banter with anyone. How could you go back and forth in a humorous way with somebody on the internet? You can't. Everything's about dick. You only really legitimately know how to like try to flirt with people or treat them like shit on the internet. You, <laughs> girl, you're such an asshole. You said she's so jealous that we like play with with Evie like that. Yeah, that's right. He he bonked us. He bonked us. Bonk is a joke that we have every time we watch him because some of y'all thirsty biatches get a little a little too thirsty, and I have to horny bonk them. So horny bonk is a thing that we do when we watch him, and he bonked us. You're, oh yeah, no, he doesn't. You exist. He's fucking going back and forth. We're all having the time of our life over here. And what are you, fucking miserable with your fake ass husband stuffing your face on fucking hot dog pizza? Fool. Never touch her with a million friggin'. <clears throat> she was smoking on camera and then drove home. So she was smoking on camera. So I don't want to hear anyone come for me for driving high when I never did. Where's, oh, did I do that? Like, seriously. Yes, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you would get high on stream and then be at Cokie's within hours. You would get high on stream while driving the car in the lineup of the, what do you call it, fast food. You puff the vape pen. We've seen you get high and then go driving a million times. You are full of shit. Stop projecting. Shut up. People are so... So, so self-righteous when they have no right to be. That's what I'm mad about. Yeah, exactly, Sabre. Not Rebellion, one. William, thank you for the super chat, girl. Without your videos. At all, at all. I should literally take a hiatus from YouTube for like a month. Totally should do it. I don't want. I swear to God, don't threaten us with a good time, girl. <laughs> take a hiatus. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I dare you to take a fucking hiatus, Chantal. For real, for real. You can't do it. Prove me wrong. I'm like, why should I punish like my beezers for that? You know what I mean? <laughs> a plus, stop being dismissive of what I want to talk about. Okay, thank you. I asked why she doesn't go on camera and she got angry with me. She's such a hypocrite. Yeah, exactly. Would have you seen my thumbnail? That's why she doesn't go on camera. So she sits there behind the camera and fat shames me. When I look, uh, even if I was a hundred pounds loser, I would be better looking than you. Like the proof is, I have a hot husband, and you have to make one up. You have to make one up and go hang out with Shan. I never made up a husband. What kind of a loser makes up a husband? Oh, wait, you did. <laughs> Girl, anybody can get somebody papers and call them a husband. You haven't done shit. You literally had to set your location to anywhere anyone will have me to get a man desperate enough to use you for papers. It's nowhere near the flex that you think it is. And we're all laughing at you now, just like we laughed at you with Koki. You're the only one not in on the joke. At this point, salad is in on the fucking joke. Lisa Bear, thank you for the super chat. Cannon on Valentine's Day. You are a loser. So have fun with BBJ that you're milking for views and abusing the cat even more by putting her through hell just so you can look like an effing hero when you're a big hypocrite because you need to keep that same energy, French fried chins, with your friend Shannon, who you do drugs with. And obviously she was on camera. You both coke up and then drive back to Montreal and DG. Oh, you are so projecting. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I've never done cocaine, not even once in my life. You want to believe it? You don't want to believe it? I literally don't care. I have been a little cocaine narc bitch my entire life. Everybody had a phase in high school. There was a whole fucking thing where I went to high school and stuff with the coke. I saw some real fucked up shit and I know I have an addictive personality. I've always steered way clear of that shit. Unless you're talking about smoking joints, I'm, I'm just not involved in anything else anything else. And if you're wondering how come then I was so able to figure out whenever you were high on Coke Chantal, it's because I've seen it all around me and shit. You fucking idiot. That's the only reason I only like smoking the J's only like smoking the J. You're the one who puts anything up their nose. It's disgusting to me. Gee, you freaking ghetto piece of crap loser. Thank you. And tell her to take care of a dog. She let her dog go with rabies and bit people for a whole month and didn't take her to the vet. Not only that, she keeps the dog locked up in a room screaming to get out. Please. What the fuck is she talking about? She's the dog had rabies now. This is completely insane what she's saying now. So crazy. Whose dog had rabies? Who's she projecting this from? Very fucking weird. I don't I, I don't even know what to say to that. Where did that come from? I don't know. Is she talking about Shannon? 
that fucking insane. She's crazy, man. Please. Chin's tempura. <laughs> so keep that same energy. But no, of course not, because it's not me. And another thing. The audacity of this woman sitting behind her two bankruptcies in a cell in Kuwait, covered up from head to toe, not by choice, but because she thinks it's the only way she can get a man. Mm -hmm. Cosplaying as a Muslim, doing all this, running away from her life, running away from her little shit box that she's still making payments on, has the nerve to call me ghetto? What's ghetto about me? Hmm? What, what makes me more ghetto than you, Chantal? Is that some kind of weird bias? Do you think you're better than me? Because for all the reasons I just listed, if one of us had to be described as ghetto, it's certainly not me. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Riding your fucking hoopty, avoiding the creditors and shit. Who the fuck is ghetto? Me. Do you see how people villainize me for things that other people do even worse? Give me a break. <laughs> Shannon and Effigy are going to start hanging out with Missy. Oh, that's another one. Let me get to that now. <laughs> Missy, you need to shut your self-righteous trap. You're a clout chaser at this point. Do you not? How do you go from comparing Breezy Boozin to Casey Anthony just a month ago? You literally called her a child, compared her to a child Thanks. murderer. Thank you for the super chat. You're going you're gonna to defend her because I said something about her? You're just like all of the other morons who do the same thing. Sarah Blaine, you're just like her. You're just like her when just a month ago, you were just complaining about all of these people. In the DMs, your husband himself said many times to Salah, oh, Missy would never, ever talk about Chantal, even if something happened. And here you are hoping to get, like, what? Hoping to get, like, views like FFG has based on my name again? You had, like, 17 people in your stupid chat. Nobody likes to listen to you talk. Like, nobody. Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear you. Wow. No, I'm not going to release D. Mad at everybody. I love this. Maloney, thank you for the super sticker. Haters. And she docks people and even said worse things, so. I know she didn't just throw. Okay, I'm not defending Pissy Poo. Pissy Poo absolutely did dock someone. But she docked someone in Chantal's chat. And when it was done, Chantal was laughing. Chantal was so thankful. Now she's going to be like, oh, and she's a doxer. Get the fuck out. Chantal. You are living for the doxing until you don't like her anymore. That's so gross. I don't think she would want to go that route. <clears throat> yeah, Aisha, good point. It's just, I never thought that this person would ever be like that. Completely, completely just like flip the switch and act all self-righteous like anyone cares what you have to say. She goes on there going, well, I don't think this is right. And I don't think this is right. Let's go, squirrel. Thank you for the super chat. Including me. And the, like... <clears throat> No, she, like the picture of uh, T and Dust's daughter, I got that from her in the DM. And she got it from somebody, I don't know. I don't feel bad about that. People have no problem being super personal in my life, revealing everything about me, my finances, whatever. T and Dust talks crap about, she says the most vile things, bullying me for years. Like, have a look at your, here's your mirror, the picture of, here's your mirror. I don't feel bad for that at all. I don't care. So, why is FF Goblin on your... <laughs> No basic. They, he has them blocked everywhere. And Missy, she had the nerve to message my my husband in a DM all hurriedly, like, you know, I don't know how you deal with her. Kind of like basically, like, are you kidding? We don't understand how your man can deal with you either, or anybody for that for that matter. Anybody. Rabbit, rabbit, sugar. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Girl, welcome to Loyalty Business Club. Ready, set, peace. <laughs> oh my God, the same channel has your videos up. Wh which one jokes? One of the channels put a copyright strike on Jessica Messica because she played a few minutes of the video while talking over it. They're hypocrites. They're such hypocrites. They're whatever you want to call them, pussies, freaking cowards, everything, everything. The minute you go in there and you defend me or have an actual point with a brain that, that, that took brain power to come up with like this. Who struck Jessica Messica? They block you. <laughs> so I don't want everyone to hear any of your stuff. Is this true or is this them just yeah, they, they, like bullshit as usual? Sometimes boring because it's paying your bills and those vet bills that you're milking for views. Thank you. You're welcome. Ironically, it could have paid vet bills for you too, but you didn't care enough. All you wanted to do was stuff your face. So I guess we'll have to make up for your negligence now. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. And then she messages Sela offering to save him from you. You're right. Oh my gosh. I think he would rather be dead than have to deal with you over me. Thank you. Like, seriously, these people are delusional. She is a goblin. She looks like a goblin. Look at the pic. She looks like an old man with no teeth. And yeah, I'm probably going to hell for saying that. I don't care at this point. Like, seriously, whatever. Self-defense. <laughs> like, you're going to sit there. How how do people not see? She's going to sit there on a live stream for three hours talking, analyzing how I'm eating pizza, the pizza I'm eating, blah, 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 talking crap about my husband. 
when she's like 900 pounds herself. We can clearly see this from the thumbnail. Girl, if I'm nine, you're like 15. Let's just keep it straight, okay? And in the grand scheme of what you get mad that people have to say about you, if I came out here and I, the biggest discussion we had as a group was like, oh my God, she's putting ketchup on pizza. And that was the discussion that took place here. She would be so fucking lucky. Why are you mad that we're going to discuss the way that you eat that disgusting fucking pizza? Should we talk about other things? Should we go back into discussing why it is that you look exactly like your fucking uncle? We could go back there. You would think you would pick your battles and stick with the pizza thing. Penny, thank you for the super chat, girl. So you're clearly scarfing down something behind the scenes. You're not eating arugula salads. Please, please don't even go there. <laughs> I get a she light. pretends to eat arugula salads. You're so full of shit, you weirdo, man. She said in her life, she messaged him offering to help him out with the relationship of something. I, Aisha, babe, remember the voice note? Like, <clears throat> And all of this, like, what do you think? What, what do you expect? Right. You went Rachel, hey, thank you for the super chat. From, <clears throat> like, what? Not even a month ago. Like, completely supporting, like, oh, you guys are family. Uh, we would sponsor Salah if you needed. No, we don't need that. Thank you. I've said that already. We don't need your help with that. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, I'm living permanently here now. We're not going to Canada. So, again, you're wrong about that. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. I love it. I love it. You're wrong. You just slipped, like, two days ago and said something about blah, 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 when we get to Canada. You're full of shit, Chantal. You don't even know what you're doing. You probably won't be allowed to bring him to Canada. That's why you woke up to Canada. But it's his end goal. Understand. Veronica Mack, thank you for the super chat. Wrong about him using me for citizenship. You're wrong about everything that you have, like that you talk about. There's no, no point. No, <laughs> don't think so. Yeah, she is desperate. She's weird. I don't know. Um... No, Sarah's just a, like they're both the her and her panel are a bunch of demented, yeah, weird. Sean, thank you so much for the super chat. Men who have no life, literally have nothing going on in their life. I don't know what their problem is. I'm not. I'm. I'm not the one who. Wait till you see her vlog today. How nice our day was. Like literally, go live your life. Go live your life. She's gonna do a live stream. Like <laughs> here's the thing. No one's gonna see your day and how nice it was today because nobody watches the crap that you two losers put out on the couples channel. It's god awful. So no one's going to see it. Do you understand? Skinny legend supermodel. Thank you for the super chat. Oh, wait. Skinny legend supermodel. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Hi, FFG. X bees are here joining the girl gang. Well, welcome to the girl gang. We will side eye you for a while, but I'm sure you understand. But welcome to the girl gang. As long as you're not pissy poo, uh, A plus or a few of the other ones, you're welcome with the side eye. <laughs> Wait, brush your dog. Like, seriously. You, like, <laughs> what the hell? You you come at me and I hate the self-righteous people who have no right to be. I, I can't stand people like that. Like, sitting there, like, talking about pet care and putting up all these PSAs. Like, when you know nothing about the situation, really, honestly. So, <clears throat> how do you go from a longtime supporter friend and then going to, like, I, you know what I mean? So, this is your fault. You have no right to be mad at me. Phoenix Flying, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, stay mad about it. <laughs> Chicken Snugget Shade. No, seriously. Like, whatever. Ugh. I don't know. Take care of your pets. They look mangy. They look weird. Ugh. And she treats them like her kids. I, I don't feel that way anymore about animals. Honestly, I, I love animals. Um, I loved my cats. You're never going to take that away from me. I don't care what you say. I don't care how you try to damage my reputation. I'll never go anywhere and I'll always have some people supporting me. And even if I don't, whatever. You're not going to get rid of me that easy. You always will because there's always going to be some morons in the world. However, you telling somebody that they have a mangy pet is laughable at this point. Negligence, they wrote, Chantal. Negligence. You were a negligent pet owner. And there it is. Four or five still to be confirmed. Nails grown into her pads. Written down by the vet. There you go. You care that some dog needs to be brushed? In the grand scheme of things, I'd rather have a, a dog that needs to be brushed than nails growing into the pads of a dog's feet. Just saying. Julie, thank you for the super chat. So anyway, um, yeah, well, so she said she will never change or talk about you badly. And just after a few days, she super chatted that vile goblin. And then she started to do what hater channels doing. Yeah. What she, she, number one, you film from a potato, you film in the wrong rotation and you film your laptop trying to what, trying to say that she was trying to say that uh, something's fishy about Salah and all these men are adding her on, on Instagram, whatever. You're a fat white woman with freaking uh, Canadian citizenship. Maybe somebody wanted you for that. I don't know. 
I don't know what I don't oh, know. Oh, like, the projection. Wow. Ali B, thank you for the super. Try to add me on freaking Instagram as well. <laughs> and then she keeps saying he added me. When he added me, when he added me, he asked me first. And because you were a beezer, I said yes. So what? He never talks to you in DMs ever. Never. Maybe once. Like once and I was right there. I'm a freaking idiot. I forgot to change my lock screen and I went to unlock it and scared myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, it's getting used to these <clears throat> getting used to these new like new phone is really weird. Austin Poston. Yeah, I still don't know that she's on the new phone. I'm not fully convinced. I don't know. Rebellion, thank you for the super chat. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We're definitely going to be doing that one again. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Remember for 15 months, Missy wants to wear your skin as a suit. <laughs> Ready, set, reviews, Austin. Yeah, she's demented, honestly. I love my dogs to death, but since I've had children, they obviously don't get as much attention as usual. Yeah, Breeze, like, I, I don't like that people humanize animals, like, the same way. Like, they're totally fine with a bee. Like, like Breeze, booze in for, just booze in, for example, literally will sit there and, like, condemn me for animal abuse and neglect. You did elder abuse. You literally have a criminal record for beating an elderly Oh, shut up with that. She'll say the same thing for months now. But what she just said, she doesn't like when people humanize animals. <sighs> Wow, we're so opposite. You know how I always say like the animals are the kids in my family and like we treat the animals like the kids in this family and so we humanize the shit out of animals in my family. And I've always said there's two kind of pet owners, ones who kind of humanize the animals, treat them like the people, right? And ones who treat them like objects. She's absolutely someone who treats them like an object and in the most negative way, in the most like negligent way. Girl, don't shit on people who treat them like people. It's it's the best way that a pet can be treated. That That's when you know they're like the best treated animals. Every animal should be so lucky as to be treated like a person. Person, And I guess I'll keep repeating that because it is relevant. Because you sit on your high horse. Shit, I treat animals better than people. I'm not ashamed to admit it. And like, it's ridiculous. It's just bullying with a smile on. Hi, Beezers. Like, really, everyone, this is the point. Everyone has dirt and skeletons in their closet. So for people to be self-righteous and, like, condemn me and try to ruin my reputation, ruin my life, bring me down, whatever, over things that you did even worse, you need to get a life. Seriously, and reevaluate yourself. Who did even worse? I can say with 100% confidence, I've never done anything nearly as bad as what she did to the cat. Not even fucking close. The skeletons in my closet pale in comparison with like the fucking dinosaur skeletons in yours, Chantal, for fuck's sake, man. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> it's eyebrow magic. She added me and I just accepted her after I asked my pretty wife about her. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Let's stop valuing animals' lives over humans. Yes, they are our babies, but they are animals. Exactly, Aisha, right. Like, oh, give me a break. Aisha, and then I have somebody on a hate oh. campaign. I can't stand this person. Like, I keep reporting their channel because they're friggin' stupid. I'm getting so much hate over Harry, Harry's cage. I swear, like, I, I just ignore, like, whatever. I don't even care. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Just this order the freaking hamster. Look, she's she's going to be defiant about the freaking hamster's cage, too. She will not order the hamster a bigger cage. She knows better. She's been told a million times. And look, it's become now the thing, like, you remember the whole debacle with cutting the, the cat's fucking nails all that time ago? And it was like, I will not take her to the vet. It, it was just the defiance in her. Now she's going to do the divine thing about the hamster. Bella Rose, thank you for the super chat, girl. For living in this apartment. He's lucky to be here, okay? He was in a cage when we bought him with 100 million other hamsters. Didn't look like he had a good quality of life, okay? So we took him from that, gave him his own place with a wheel, with tunnels, with a whole bunch of bedding. He can borrow in the wood shavings. I give him fresh salad every day. I give him mango. I give him food. He has fresh water. He has a playpen. So can it. Keep your outrage up your butt because it's not, I don't care. Just getting that out there. <laughs> I'm shocked elder abuse is no big deal to these people at all. They don't care. If it's not if it's not me, they don't care. Like I, I don't know. I I'll, honestly people talk so much about how much I eat. I, if I was so worried about it, I wouldn't be doing it on camera. The fact that I eat a pizza in your face means suck it. I don't care. I, I don't care. I told people many times, I if I'm 800 pounds, I don't care. Like but you're the one that talks about it all day, every day. You clearly care. Has anyone else noticed since the, like before crackhead Olympics with Koki, nobody's really talked about her weight at all. There's been so much other shit to talk about. You're the only one, Chantal. Every fucking day, every conversation, it always comes back to that. You're obsessed. 
Suzanka, thank you for the super chat. Why, why, like seriously, why am I being fat shamed? By honestly, all of the reactors have FUPAs and are about 900 pounds each. No, okay, sorry. If you collect all their weight together, please give me a break. I'm sorry. Like you literally are fat people fat shaming another fat person. If that's not projection 101, I don't know what it is. I don't even have any reaction to that anymore. Like, what do you say? Barbara, are you kidding? Just because you don't see her fat face on camera doesn't mean it ain't there. <laughs> Come, give me a break. You're going to tell me that FF Goblin is the epitome of health? She smokes a freaking bag of red cigarettes every day, smoking out BBJ. You can't tell me she's not. And then on top of that, she must be eating behind the scenes because have you seen her at Shannon's? No? Yeah, I'm fucking eating behind the scenes. I don't have a mukbang channel, you fucking weirdo. I suppose you could say all of my eating is done behind the scenes. That doesn't mean I pretend to have rocket salads and dumb shit. Go, go shut up. You sound foolish. Mm? Just absolutely insane. And Climber, thank you for the super chat. I'm being petty before Ramadan, right? Exactly. <laughs> Trixie, the hamster lives better than you. <laughs> you don't even have a wheel. <laughs> and honestly, if people need to can it, JJ, welcome to the Loyalty Beavers Club. Ready to bees. <sighs> we saw the body at the fashion show. No, seriously, our apartment is like totally fine. It's a one bedroom. It's pretty big for, it's a normal size. I lived in a smaller apartment in Canada. Like our first, my first apartment with Peace was a crappy, small, tiny, like tiny, tiny apartment. You know? Yeah, but that's not your first apartment. You're like 40 years old. I'm just saying, and you have the nerve to talk shit for so long about a non-existent Motel 6, and now you live on a ground-level windowless cell shithole <laughs> with rats. We'll get to that stream after. Yeah, that's right. There's rats. Rebellion, thank you for the super chat. I don't get why Missy Moo is turning on you now. Because she doesn't like the truth. She does, Just like Sarah Plain, honestly. I just, Sarah Plain, I just sent her birthday money. And then she goes on Monty's panel. Like somebody who does nothing. His panel at that time was full of that crazy-eyed kooky lady. The, <laughs> she's insane. All of those people are insane. They're all weird. And she goes on there trying to act like she has like, wow, well, <laughs> I'm a beezer. No, you're not. Ariana, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Gabriel. Hey, that hand outside the window had me rolling. <laughs> Sella's idea. <laughs> Welcome back to the Rimpreview's Race of Bees. I love going on. I love, I need to vent, I swear. Chantal Goblin is an anti-Semitic. Please stop using it. What? You sent Missy Mubi Day money and you don't even know her like that? No, I sent it to Sarah Plain. This is why I ended friendship with her because she, like literally she was like, and then, and then every time they get caught being a piece of crap friend, uh, whatever, friend, whatever you want to call it. Like I sent her birthday money and she sent me birthday money. I think friends do that, right? So she was like, A baked potato. Hey girl, thank you for the super chat. Happy belated birthday. Opinion, blah, blah, blah. Um, if she has the face of a beekeeper without the suit who's allergic to bees yeah really and her audience literally calls me chins and makes fun of my face please you wish <laughs> andre if harry gets too chubby can he get stuck in the tunnel <laughs> ready to read bees andre marie loyalty bees if he gets too fat i guess but he he can still turn around in it and i keep him with me always like i put when i'm in the bedroom i put him in the playpen his cage in the playpen area and then when i hear him like scurry around he's very lazy but i let him in the playpen and i watch him and then I pick him up and take him for a little walk around the apartment because I like seeing his ears from the back. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my gosh, that that rodent has a good life. He could be in the drain, okay? So shut it. The fuck? <laughs> I'll use the word goblin all I want. Yeah, goblin, goblin, goblin. He's lazy. Prince, get over it. She's referring to a single person. <clears throat> Who do I have to block? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did she just say that the rat fink is lucky to not be down the drain? Okay. And then repeated goblin a bunch of times too. She's really, she's really going in on that one too, isn't she? Hmm. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> so yeah. So that's, that's hey, definitely hey, like, thank you for the I remember that about Shannon. Like really? So you're BFS with Shannon. That's nice to know. So are you going to offer to help her with her dogs? Are you going to take her dogs from her because they're not being treated right? Like seriously, at least I didn't lock my cats in a room and have them freaking to get out just so I can ignore them to get high or whatever. Just because I couldn't handle them. The reactor who interviewed. What? Bo is being treated beautifully. Bo is such a such a good boy, such a beautiful dog. I'm convinced, without even knowing that this was a thing, that the dog was put in a room because Chantal was there and like bitched about the dog. What the hell? 
Bo is so sweet and was out the whole time. What the hell is she talking about? She's so crazy. She's like, I don't know, making up stories to somehow make what she did to BBJ lessened. It's insane. Dahlia Dreams, thank you for the super chat, girl. Happy Friday to you. Your neighbors deleted all of his videos because he couldn't handle the backlash. They can't handle the hate they give. Of course not. Coward. <clears throat> I'm still standing and I always will. I mean, people have been blocked for saying things about Islam. Must be respectful for religions here now. <clears throat> his cage? No, actually, I never smell his cage. Hey, babe, we don't smell his cage. Because honestly, like, I clean it once a week and it doesn't get bad. Like, I think he just pees in one area. And then I take out the poo, like, every day. He goes and, like, Bullshit. he gets up and he goes and runs into this one little corner and pees in that same corner. So it's easy to spot clean his cage. But I've never smelt his cage. Even when I came back from Kuwait, I didn't smell anything. Nothing. No. I know. Yeah, you didn't smell his cage, just like you didn't see the cat's nails were growing into the pads of her feet. You don't see these things. You don't smell these things. Guarantee you don't clean that cage. You probably treat that cage like you treated the litter boxes. And I'm not convinced that Salad cleaned that cage at all while you were gone. That whole month that you were gone back to Canada? No, I don't think so. Manners World, thank you for the super chat. Goblins are not real. Goblin King from The Hobbit. <laughs> yeah, she makes Islamophobic remarks all the time. I have no sympathy whatsoever for her. She's disgusting. He deleted his channel. What? The Islamophobic comments that I make all the time is calling salad salad, which is not at all Islamophobic and is the only reason that I've started talking about this goblin thing. I had no idea goblin was like an uh, anti-Semitic thing and I'm Jewish. I had never heard that before in my life. I was like, oh, okay. She wants to keep saying salad is uh, Islamophobic. Fine. I'm going to harp every time she does on the goblin thing. It's literally not even deeper than that. So you want to keep saying salad is uh, Islamophobic, which it absolutely is not. Keep calling me a fucking goblin when you know I'm a Feldman bitch. Maeve, thank you for the super chat. Channel and the neighbors said nothing about her. I know. I was waiting to see what they would say. I was like, wow, I wonder what my neighbors think of me, actually. Lo and behold, they had nothing bad to say about this personality. And he calls me my home an ant. Like, he thinks he's, like, this big expert on, like, behavior. And he's just a freaking random egghead from, no, he's a nobody. Creepy weirdo. Anyway, and he, he calls my the home at, at, on Woodcliffe an, an antisocial abode. The only one doing any antisocial behavior is you. Am I the weirdo driving to people's houses to interview them? No, I don't even have hours of live streams talking about these weirdos. Seriously, if I ever address anything, it's the ridiculous. And it's not worth my time, I know. But obviously I haven't learned that yet. Maddie, no, they are zombies. They are zombies, literally. Like every time I see something about them, it's like, they're always like, Look at the super chat down there on a chug off screen. You're asking for a strike, keep going. <laughs> Shell, thank you for the super chat, girl mentality of adults who act this way and then these people have the nerve to say i shouldn't have children i can guarantee you i would not expose them to this crap and be talking and bullying up people on the internet when i do have some thank you <coughs> so it's really crazy how much hate chantal gets but the reactors cannot handle a bit of it no they can't who can't handle it the reactors like it when you try us <laughs> it's fun then we get to you know come back at you Oh, no, we can't handle it. We, we like it. What are you talking about? She's crazy. Chug your water, girl. Ashley, thank you for the super chat. Stop saying shredding the nar to me. And real life is going too far. I'm so glad I'm out of Canada for a few years. Goodbye. Seriously. <laughs> the demon goblin can't come near me. She, she wouldn't have the nerve or the guts to come face to face with me. Look what, what happened when she did. You know what I mean? What do you mean, Stan? She's complaining about putting, what? They're talking about my pizza, really? As if they all pretend they don't eat junk food. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh, no, 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 girl. Don't get me wrong. I love a pizza, specifically Sicilian pizza. Oh, my God. It's my fucking favorite. Mm -hmm. With a little burrata on top. Oh, fuck me up, okay? What I'm not going to do ever is waste the pizza calories with a, a, a pizza that has fucking hot dogs and ketchup on it. I was specific, specifically making a comment about the disgusting pizza that you were eating, not the fact that it was pizza. I love some good pizza. That was not good pizza. Kidding? Like, oh my gosh. 
literally everyone was surprised by the size of her face and her body when she goes on camera. And so she has the nerve to, to body shame me for what? Like, I have no problem with how I look. My husband has no problem. At least I don't look like a toothless old man who got stung by a bunch of bees. Yes, you're right. You nailed it. You nailed it, Colonel. You look like a Funkel baby version of my ex-boyfriend's grandmother. It is what it is. <laughs> Disheveled. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for reading my super chat. You're welcome. Thank you for being here and happy weekend to you. <laughs> what are you talking about, Maddie? Exactly. Dream they do all this to get views and money. It's so obvious. Yeah. <clears throat> this is how entertainment works. How are people entertained by lies and like just stupid drama like this? Like literally. Where's the lies for two years now? Where's the lies? You freaking Jenna Palooza. Thank you for the super chat, girl. For the first time Chantel said the word. It would make it a thumbnail. What? Hi, Tracy. I don't understand. People can be attracted to big pe a big person. Do you know how much of the world is fat, by the way? A huge percentage, almost half. So you're telling me all those people. So basically, but when they say things about me, they're talking about themselves. Because if you're saying that no man will touch me, whatever, you're fat, you look like this, you look like that. Sarah, like Sarah Jane has the nerve to call me Jabba the Hutt for laying down. Have you seen your screen capture of you laying in bed? You look more like Jabba than I do. This is what I mean. It's like hypocrisy to the max. I don't even get it. Like, I'll never get it. Hey, Oceana song. Thank you for the super chat. You're right. It kills her. So we'll be best friends with her. <laughs> and then rile up an audience to be the savior of BBJ. Fuck off. Sorry, not sorry. Hello, JJ. Sometimes you just have to tell people to F off, I swear. It's so hard not to. I used to be fat and I lost 120 pounds for health reasons. That is why I said I care about your health. I would never fat shame someone else. I don't know. I know how hard it is. Yeah. You know, it is for sure hard. There would be no fat people if it was easy, you know? She looks like John C. Riley. You're so right. <laughs> oh, no, I can't see it. I was thinking of what gross celebrity she looked like. Ew. Hello, JJ. Hi. I wait, fl wait fluctuates enough. She's a weight gain channel. Who picks? These people pick on Amber Lynn and I as if they're any better. They all start, look at her, Charlie. They all start channels trying to prove that they can do better. Ah, oh, how's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Well, everything in my life is better. It's working out pretty well. And I don't say anything about Amber Lynn. Who the fuck does? Who, who even is that? I don't remember her. BBJ is now FFJ. Thank you for the super chat. She doesn't have a neck at all. No. She's a literal, became a literal bullf bullfrog, human bullfrog. And she has the nerve to talk about me eating pizza for three hours. Why? Because nobody will watch her. She's personality-less. Like, her personality is an ashtray. Oh, I say this all the time. This is what I take offense to. You could say a lot of things about me, bitch. And you do. And you have just right now. But to say that I don't have a personality is fucking laughable. Okay? I have more personality uh, in, like, I don't know my neck, my gobble gobble neck than you have in all of you, all of you, you, your robot husband, everybody in Cornwall. I don't know what to tell you, girl. Shut the hell up. You are so weird to say that I don't have a person. I mean, of all the things. And why is that the thing that pisses me off? Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat, girl. Her voice is an ashtray. Everything about her is an ashtray. <laughs> She's disgusting. I look more like I'm from a bug's life. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I looked cute. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have the same eyes as you guys, I guess. I don't look at myself in the mirror and think I'm ugly. I don't look at it just because I'm fat. I don't. I never do. That's not just because you're fat. You're deformed. That's number one. And you're, you're vile. You're rotten from the inside out. Every part of you is disgusting. The fact that you look at yourself and think you're good looking is just part of your, your mental illness. It's not our, not our problem, girl. Slim Sagey, thank you for the super chat. Did I never did? She was tweeting in that video with the goblin. No, seriously, I don't. I don't think like when I lay down on the side. So what? Big deal. Am I supposed to be less of a person just because I, I don't can't cross my legs and eat capsa? I have to lay on my side and eat capsa. So what? Who cares? Laying down on your side is you know whatever. Who who gives a crap? Seriously. <clears throat> <laughs> You're not ugly at all. You have stunning people. Who gives a crap? Who gives a crap? She had to lay down in a seal position to stuff her face on three plates of rice. Huh? She couldn't sit down on the floor and cross her legs. And she thinks nobody can. She was like, oh, everyone's fat. Nobody can do that. Come on. Come on. 
I'm fat. I love pizza. I can sit on the fucking floor and cross my legs for the love of God, bro. This is uh, ridiculous. You chose to lay there like a seal or, or, or eating your fucking rice. You then watched that footage back and made the video. You uploaded that shit. You're the one to blame. I don't know what to tell you. If you thought we wouldn't have something to say about that, again, that's your mental illness and that's not my problem. Quite Storm, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, thank you, Breezes. <clears throat> I'm not going to think I'm ugly just because I'm fat. It doesn't matter what we think. If you are comfortable in your skin and you're beautiful, so yeah, exactly. If you are comfortable in your skin, exactly. And if you have to just sit there and like make three hour live streams about somebody's, how they look and what, what they might smell like, you've never seen me in person. And actually out of her big fat mouth, she said herself, I smell good. So no, I so didn't. Did. Oh, stop changing the story. I said, you smelled like sweat and perfume from the nineties, which as I thought about more was Clinique happy. That's what you smelled like. It was not a good smell. It wasn't, a, if you equate that to a good smell again, that's your mental illness. And that's not my problem, liar. They're against me. It's the other, it's the other story. I hate, this is exactly what Missy Me Just does. me. Thank you for the super chat. They are out of my life. Golden girl, I'm, alhamdulillah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better, I think. I think. <clears throat> Thank you, Brie Tim. Yeah, I have no filters. This is like not filtered. Honestly, I kind of like how I look better without filters. It's my natural face. Why would I not like it? It's a face God gave me, you know? <laughs> I've seen a video from somebody who's trying so hard to just make me look bad among many people. So it's like they took my TikTok and quit Jennifer my- Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat, girl. So what are you proving? People criticize Angel Angelina Jolie's looks and bodies. Yeah, I know. That's the thing. Like, like I said, you could be perfect and people will just nitpick something because they're obviously miserable with themselves and they can't- Is she really comparing? Is she like comparing herself? The same way it's it's ridiculous when people come for Angelina Jolie's looks and body. It's equally ridiculous that people come for Chantal's. She just said that. She she just put Angelina Jolie and herself in the same sentence like that? In that context? <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. Wow. That might be the most ridiculous thing I've heard all week. Uh, Monkey D. Luffy, thank you for the super chat can't get any views without talking about somebody negatively. And unfortunately I'm the target, uh, you know, just like Amber Lynn, just like whatever, you know, it's always so funny that the people who pick on lol cows are even bigger messes themselves. It's really weird. It's like huge, big projection circle jerk community. And it's so toxic and disgusting. And it's adult people, adult people with children, adult people who like, I, I'll just never get it. <clears throat> <laughs> FFG feels embarrassed to show her goblin face on camera when she reacts to your boring Kuwait art. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. How, my I'll never understand the logic. If I was embarrassed to show my face on camera, why would I have gone on camera at Shannon's? Why would I have posted up the picture with Shannon? Why would I have posted up the picture with you at the Fatty Fashion Show? It just doesn't make sense. Do you do you think? No, you don't think. Hmm. But again, you have 600 people in your chat and that's a pretty good night for you, Chantal. You don't keep up with the chat. It's not the same situation. You couldn't relate. I don't expect to like explain it to you and have you understand. Uh, Sad doll. Thank you for the super chat. Ex Beezer. She has done many terrible things. You don't get a prize for leaving now. Ooh, sad doll. The ex Beezer said, oh, well, welcome to the girl gang. Uh, all but a few ex Beezers are always welcome, but we will side eye you for a while, but you're still welcome. My life is boring. The only thing you have is milking BBJ's um, health problems for views. A 21-year-old cat. Yeah, of course they're going to have health problems, moron. Like, literally, what did she do with her dogs? She literally, they were they were sick, so she, like, forced them to take a whole bunch of medication and then ended up euthanizing them. What? Who did I euthanize? Did I euthanize anybody? No. So you need to take that energy and call her the killer, not me, if that's what you think. You only didn't euthanize a cat who had no business getting euthanized because I got to the cat before you got to the vet. Bloop. It is what it is. And as you can tell from the dossier that I put up today when you, after the stream and it uploads and whatever, and you go back and you look, I don't remember if this part was English or French. You may have to translate. I don't know. Do a little work if you want to. Uh, it says clearly like the cat is doing great. So many positive points written there in the notes by the vet. Hmm? Undeniable Chantal. Manda, thank you for the super chat. 
think. I'm not against euthanasia, but if that's what you want to do, they stream it for hours over dumb little things. Like, me eating pizza. I'm fat. I eat pizza. Woo, you're genius. It pisses me off that they can go after Chantal's looks and body, but holy hell, let Chantal do it and she's horrible. Exactly. Everything. <coughs> what people don't like about other people is usually reflection. Exactly. Um, if they don't, F no, if they don't strike FFG, they're not going to do it for me. Whatever. <clears throat> so, but what's the matter? You don't like that I talk out against these people who talk about me every day? Stay mad. Violin for you. Get out of here. Keep your crappy dollar. Oh, violin for music. you. Vitamin chaos. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah. <laughs> mm. She's going to get arthritis shots. Nice. Nice. She's going to milk that every time she takes that cat to the vet. Milk it for views. Milk it for views. It's really disgusting. <clears throat> well, the cat already went for her first arthritis shot. It worked like a miracle. The next one is on April 2nd. Stay mad, baby. Imagine Chantal says she can't cook now because she doesn't have a chair to wheel herself around her kitchen. And her cat, for the first time in years, is walking the way a cat should. She's like jealous. She's jealous. The cat is like doing better than she is at this point. <coughs> Honestly, like... Oh, yeah. I'll never talk about it online. I'll sign an NDA. Yeah, I can't be exactly. Somebody yeah, has, I can't be that boring if she covers me like TMZ every day. <clears throat> they have to continue to villainize you in order to justify their fat shaming and look shaming. Yes, exactly. Exactly. It's oh, that's right. We we villainize her as an animal abuser to justify the fat shaming. Does anyone give a damn about the fat shaming? You could be 100 pounds and still have treated the cat like that. And we would still shit all over you for it. And rightly so. You deserve it. Fluffy Guts, thank you for the super chat. So weird. It's so weird. Let her spend all her money on BBJ. Yeah. Anyway. She's a piece of shit and she'll get her karma for it. Like anybody who does that is just a piece of crap. She's a low life piece of crap. You can't even say like, oh, well, she did She did good on cat care. She's taking her to the vet. Literally, literally, the only reason is because she took the cat before I took her to the vet the very next day because they refused. They refused. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So there you go. Now you can't complain about it. <clears throat> wow the only reason that the cat wasn't killed you mean when you were trying to go for that end of life consultation huh the only reason the cat wasn't killed you're so gross Chantal it's my pleasure and inshallah the cat lives longer than you do Doreal thank you for the super chat get a life and the teeth, I brought her to the vet before. Her teeth were bad for a long time. And the vet said at her age, like, it's up to you if you, like, I'm not going to put her through, tra like, traumatic teeth cleaning, like, for, for, like, no. Get a life. I'm so sick of this. How many years? That's so psychotic. How many years? I'm, I would so be curious. She, we would never get a real answer out of her. She'll lie. But I wonder, when's the first time that she had heard that the cat's teeth needed cleaning? That's so disgusting, Chantal, for fuck's sake, man. Shakira's jam jar. Thank you for the super chat. Subject. Like, I'm so sick of, like, people telling people how to take care of their pets. Like, F off. It's I, I don't care. You're not going to get to me for it. I don't care if you think I'm an animal abuser. I don't care if you cancel me. I don't care. I never will. I, 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 this whole gore world word makes me want to throw up every time I hear it. It's such BS. It's such it's just toxic bullying from a bunch of people who hate themselves. That's you. We are going to travel after Roman on you. Pixie, thank you for the super chat. You're so right, girl. We're going to live our lives. Oh, really? Elizabeth Sarvana? Cool. Inshallah after Ramadan, yeah. So, I mean, it's just like, it's stupid and ridiculous that like, I, I honestly don't even want to be part of this platform anymore. It's ridiculous that like, I put out content and then like, at least seven people a day or more go live for hours dissecting and talking about every stupid, ridiculous thing that they're worse guilty of or they're even worse. Like, in weight and whatever it's just so dumb i, I Ooh, like it makes there's me like no one in the community fatter than her i don't know what she's talking about unless it's amber lynn vitamin chaos thank you for the super chat yeah i'm sure i could call the vet right now and be like given all like if i had taken her i'm sure they would have said you know it's up to you she's old like she has all these problems <clears throat> no 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 if you had been honest at the vet the way i was you can read there again in the notes of the vet. The vet wrote, wrote what I said about like how I ended up with BBJ and what we kind of know about BBJ. I didn't exaggerate. I didn't nothing there. What we knew is written down. It's it's right there. If you had been honest with the vet the way I went in and was honest about the vet, 
There is no fucking way that the vet would have put down BBJ. The vet wrote in the notes that you wanted to put down BBJ. Like this was not an option. The cat is doing fantastic now. Vets don't want to put down animals for no reason. You're, you're a monster, Chantal. Misty Rain, thank you for the super chat. Can you stream like for members? I don't know. I'm probably, I don't know. I'm not know what I'm going to do. It's just ridiculous. It's just like, it's not even like worth it for me, like to be on this platform. It's just all toxic. It's not worth my mental health. You know what I mean? So, um. And a Palooza, thank you again for the super chat. Like, I like my Beezers and everything, but it's unreal. Imagine their life without you. What would they do and talk about? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. She literally said in her own words, the cat isn't good health for being her age. It goes right over their heads. They're zombies. They're literal zombies. They don't have a freaking brain cell between all of them. <coughs> Anesthesia. So you hear the words, the cat is in great health for her age. And in your mind, that equals euthanize. Because to most of us, that equals the opposite. You're nuts. Again, it's you. Suzanka, thank you again for the super chat. I, I cannot understand for the life of me, besides the trolls that are left there, who the fuck could still support this? Could be lethal in a cat that's elderly. Exactly. <laughs> the blue window reveal. It's still there in case we need it. The middle finger thing, yeah. Every tweet and every video is about me. Yeah, and I'm the vile person. I'm the vile person because my cat's nails were overgrown. Like, give me a break. My one cat's nails because she was older. Like, I don't know what people want. Do you want me to cut off my arm? Will that make it better for you? You literally value, like, you don't value human life at all. You people are ridiculous. I, like, people who are just d disgusting, disgusting, hateful people. You're an animal abuser, so we don't value human life. <laughs> I don't give a damn what you do with your arm. How's that? But it doesn't change the fact it wasn't just that you let her nails get too long. Her ears were filthy. She had untreated kidney disease. She had untreated hyperthyroidism and a, a massive UTI. Okay? Okay? That's on you and your negligence. Ridiculous. And then this moron with a freaking orange creamsicle hair, hairdo, like 25 years old, has no Reese life. Okay, thank you for the super chat. Say she never got drunk and then judge me for what happened when I got drunk. Like, get a life. You can't judge something you don't know. Have you ever been in an abusive relationship? No. So, and then has the nerve to be like, we don't want you on. I'm worried for the children with Foodie Beauty being on, on TikTok. Number one, I don't give a shit what you think. Number two, are you kidding? You can, do you know how many people you scroll through on TikTok? There's literal women half naked on there. You showed your, you barely almost showed your boobs on your TikTok. Are you kidding? Should you have something to say about somebody showed their boobs on their TikTok? Do you not remember the bathtub of shame with the peeps? Because I do. It's burned into my memory. Like it's burned into everyone else's. Don't talk about people showing their boobs on TikTok. We've seen every single one of your bits. Disgusting, Chantal. Shh. Don't say anything. And all you're doing now is pissing off TikTok more. And I love that for you. Mayberry Pie, thank you for the super chat. Should be more worried about you, you weirdo. <laughs> oh my God, I can't with people. Couple weeks after your fan base hounded little moment. Yeah, they're disgusting. The girl world community is literally like the husband of the person who committed suicide. Like I'm only bringing it up because like, honestly, I'm surprised it's not gotten more attention. Somebody literally took their life. Let, let, let that sink in. And the community just doesn't give a crap. They're trying to- Look at all of the things she's reaching for tonight because the papers about BBJ came out. She's talking about everything. She's trying to grab for everything she can. And she's failing at whatever she tries to grab at. You're so pathetic, Chantal. If there is one person who has exploited the death of that woman in this community, it's you. Nashville Senorita, thank you for the super chat. Just be like, I didn't have anything to do. Of course, nobody's indirectly responsible <coughs> um, for someone taking their life, like especially if they had mental health conditions or whatever. But that's the thing. Like people get pushed and pushed and pushed. And YouTube as a platform just allows targeting and bullying. Like they don't do anything to protect their creators. And hippies, thank you for the super chat. Please? But the whole girl world community, like people who were attacking her for supporting me, like just sick, disgusting people. And I don't know what harassment she was getting. Maybe in private, she was getting more harassment. Who knows? Like <clears throat> people with like maybe 200 subs. Yeah, seriously. All you have to do if you want to get start a channel is put my name in the title. You'll get at least maybe a couple hundred views, at least a thousand subscribers and at least maybe a couple hundred views per video. But like, why would you want to? Hi, baby mama. I could never, never, never think like have like, why would you want to spend your time doing that? Like, I don't understand. Right, girl. Thank you for the super chat. You're so right. Those are the best judge of characters. I trust them. Seriously. You know what I mean? <clears throat> 
She bashed that woman and laughed and said I didn't talk bad about her. She's a piece of crap. Situation with BBJ was an impossible situation. It's a lose-lose. Is she talking about me? I never said a word about yo mama. No one's ever, yo mama, uh, little mama. And no one's ever going to change that. Hmm? All the beezers and all the trolls in her chat can say whatever the hell they want. I literally never said that woman's name. I never addressed her. Not even once. So keep reaching. Stassi, uh, thank you for the super chat, girl. Lose. Your life changed and drastically and it was impossible to take her. Those who act like they don't understand have never had. They don't care. They, they just look for anything for false outrage. They don't care. I've explained the situation a hundred times and they're still acting like I purposely neglected and abused my pets. When for you years they seem absolutely fucking did, Chantal. Today of how loving I was with my pets and how happy they were with me. Give me pets are always happy. Unfortunately, even when they're in bad situations, they bond to their abusers. It's very sad, but it's true. You only loved on the cats in your very selfish way. To say that you actually loved and took care of them means taking them to the vet regularly, getting them checked, getting their nails trimmed. You never bothered doing any of that. When's the last time either one of those cats got uh, vaccinated? And look at the disgusting way that you two treated Timbit at the end of her life. Give me a break. <coughs> Hi, sweet vintage. So nobody cares about that cat. Nobody cares about that cat. All they care about is villainizing me. And you know what? It's not going to work because I don't give a shit what you think about me. And I don't care. Like, Thank you for the super chat. Nobody cares about Kiwi Farms. Nobody gives a shit about them. They're doxers. They're anti-Semites. They make fun of autistic people. They're disgusting, low-life pe low pieces of crap who all deserve to have that completely taken. Well, you're a doxer and an anti-Semite and you freaking love Kiwi Farms when they're doing doxing for you. Now you have something bad to say about them. It's funny how that ping pongs back and forth, eh? Promise. Thank you for the super chat. Bloop indeed. Bloop indeed. Doreal, thank you for the super chat. Taken down and they need to be in padded cells. That's what they say. That's what they are. That's what they are. They make the internet a crappy place, unsafe place for everybody, basically. Yeah. <coughs> Kendra, thank you for the super chat. No, she can't. Oh, what? Is Kmart even still around? Kiwi Farms is a forum that targets people and doxes people. Basically, like, for example, like, they'll have probably, like, maybe a 20,000-page thread talking about, like, one person. Yeah. Oh, my it's God. It's really... Mosey, thank you for the super chat. That's funny. <laughs> and you know they all look like FFG or every other loser that are like her. No no happy people in their life are going to take the time to discuss somebody to that degree and just bag on them. Like, no, no happy person is going to do that. No, you're right. Happy people cosplay as Muslims and uh, go on Tinder, put their location to global with their telephone number up there and marry the first loser willing to talk to them. That's what happy people do. Mm, teach us, oh, wise one. Vitamin Chaos, thank you for the super chat. You can't tell me. You can't convince me. No successful person has time for that. These people obviously have no life, no family, no jobs, or they're just miserable. I don't know what the problem is, but. Oh my God, Clara Spock eyebrows. They certainly are cruel. Thank you for the super chat. I mean, if you look up Kiwi Farms, it was responsible for multiple suicides and they and they completely deflect any responsibility on that. But you're absolutely right. Yeah, for sure. They don't have any life. They're losers. Yeah, exactly, babe. Big time losers. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people who like get entertained by that stuff. <clears throat> she got arrested at Kmart. Who angel hands? Well, she's obviously a piece of crap. She supports a loser. She supports the freaking belly dancing loser. So Gin of course, Gina, she... thank you for the super chat, girl. Sounds white trash to me. There are kind of stuff about weird people on the internet, like a Wikipedia. I know cornhole didn't just really call someone white trash. Cornhole, are you fucking kidding me? You come from the nucleus of white trash, and you're calling people white trash? Media for weirdos, but they're like even bigger weirdos. How are they not bigger weirdos? <laughs> like, really? Girl, thank you for the super chat. For what they do. Probably like, not. Anybody who doesn't behave like them and spend hours uh, talking about somebody that they and make fun of people and dox people are automatically better than them. 100%. I would rather be a weird person or an autistic person or whatever they're against. I would rather be that person. And they try to like, okay, I don't know. I don't, I never go there. I don't care. But it's just like, if you ask me my opinion about it, they should be shut down. They're good for nothing. But uh, attacking people, that's it. Mm. Well, happy birthday, Tracy. Cool. <laughs> my birthday. Ariana, thank you for the super chat girl and for the info. I know it's valid. I, I read a couple of articles about it. I just found out about this. I read a couple of articles. Definitely true. Definitely valid. I'm just like, I never heard about that before. And I genuinely don't think she had either. Honestly, she's just a dick. I don't think she uh, did it like 
purposely. I mean, I could be wrong. I don't think so. But if she's going to keep harping on the stupid thing that is salad is anti is uh, uh, Islamophobic, then yeah, fuck it. You know what? Goblin's going to be anti-Semitic and you can shut your face. Like, it's like tit for tat, but there's actual validity behind my tat. You know what I mean? Mad Murd, thank you for the super chat. Oh, I bet. Mm-hmm. Of that it was not our apartment at all <laughs> nice try they found a random picture on the internet um with the same couch or a similar couch color not even the same couch they call themselves sleuths and what are they gonna do if they find our apartment are they gonna come come to kuwait i dare them to actually it would be in jail yesterday <laughs> noel like, oh, thank you for the super chat that's all she's got left wieners come in all shapes and sizes what's your point like why just archive that to laugh at someone's private parts what kind of low-life human being are you really please <laughs> oh my god i can't they make me want to bang my head against the wall. And they'd probably be happy if that happens. <laughs> oh, Elizabeth, happy birthday to your mom. I never thought I would hear a hijabi say that wieners come in all different shapes and sizes. I see you really prepping for the Ramadan really well, Chantal. Well done. Huh? Quote the Raven. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Can you imagine? And it's not even anywhere near summer yet. This way, she's going to melt like a candle in the summer. They try stock. Yeah. They're so weird. And I love how they, they act like they're better than everyone else because don't go in real life. Don't cow tip. But you have a platform for people to dox people on. Okay. That's any better. You talk about people for thousands of threads over the dumbest, meaningless crap just so you can hear yourself talk. It's a circle jerk situation, really. Oh, yeah. But Rachel, anybody... thank you for the super chat. This is what happily married newlywed looks like, right? Right? I don't know. They're welcome here. Let them come if they can. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <clears throat> Literally, Beezer fan, rewind the the video. He was just in the beginning of my live stream. What, like, what is even the logic? What is even the logic? Can you explain to me hey, with your two bucks? What's the logic of him not living here? Like, what's your theory? I'd like to know. I, I'm, I'm, I'd like to know. What, what's the theory of him not living here? Like, what, what's the point? <laughs> what the fuck? Whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Lisa Bear, I do, thank you for the super chat, but I do think that the the couch is blue. And there's his stupid keyboard leaning up against the wall. And there's the stupid bottom of that art thing that they hung above the couch. I think that's the normal spot. The pillows. The color looks a little off with this. Maybe this is the new phone, right? But that's the blue couch to me. Tina, thank you for the super chat. Well said, girl. Agreed. Old me. Welcome to Very Important Users, Old me. Ready, set, me. What, what, so what's, what, what? Oh, the way I talk about animals is disgusting? Okay, so how about the way they talk about human beings? What about that, Mia? Shove it up your ass. You're, okay, so. Again, you're comparing animal abuse, fucking documented animal abuse, to the way people treat animals. What the hell? Apples and oranges, ma'am. <laughs> she will bring anything in. What a stupid argument. Chantal, you're disgusting. You're an animal abuser. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ren, uh, thank you for the super chat. That was definitely a struggle meal. You think so? Hot dogs on a pizza sounds pretty struggleish to me. Hmm? Oh God! <laughs> ah, where does he live? Why am I living alone here? Idiot. Agreed, Missy. Yeah. Thank you for the super chat. She does look great. You don't have to be. By the way, another thing, Missy was like uh, accountability. They're all about accountability. I don't owe you any accountability. I don't owe you anything. You're strangers to me. Don't forget that. Oh, any time of the day, you can choose not to watch me if you think I'm an animal abuser, if you think I'm vile, if you think I'm disgusting, if you think I'm Jabba the Hutt, don't watch me. Plain and simple. But you will because you have nothing else to do. You cannot get anything on your own. You cannot make a presence on YouTube on your own. Just watch. I should really seriously go ghost for a month and see what happens. I bet you any do money it. I would improve my life. <laughs> Number oh my God, one, do it. I would have a lot of time too. Um, and all of you would do nothing but replay Cuba Rage over and over. That's it. That's all you have. Talking about me eating pizza. Ooh. As if you don't eat pizza. That's my problem with that. You probably, like, seriously. Oh, Best my God. World. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Chantal didn't leave her family behind to go live in an apartment by herself. They would just react to your old archive streams. Nobody's going to, who's going to watch that? Seriously. <laughs> if you want to ruminate over the past, go for it. Whatever. That's ridiculous. I don't think it would get the same views as new stuff. They don't understand dark humor. It flies right over their heads. Oh, yeah. Saying I'm putting Harry in the air fryer. Be it, saying B's ready for a dirt nap. They, apparently, they don't like any jokes. You know what I mean? Oh, it shows my unhappiness, but what about...
We don't like jokes about abusing animals from an animal abuser. It's like, read the room. Do you think it's appropriate that somebody who abused their pets should make jokes about abusing animals? No. Hi, love. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, their unhappiness. Spending hours ruminating over dumb things like this. Please. Another, hypoc another hypoc hypocrite, stupid super chat. You're just proving my point more. I would not be a sister wife. Never in a million years, in a million years. People contradict themselves all the time. All the time. Like with the phone. I bought it. Okay, so I thought only on payday because I have no money. I thought I had no money. So how am I paying for a phone? Really? No, I, this just proves that Salah has his own money because again, you cannot live here unless you have money. You will not live here. You cannot even renew your- No your one, does anyone give a damn about Kuwait or how you end up living in Kuwait or how much money you need to live in Kuwait? I don't give a fuck about Kuwait at all. No one cares. Luna reacts. Thank you again for the super chat, girl. No one said that. Exactly. She puts words in your mouth and then starts attacking about it, but it's about things that literally no one gives a fuck about. I don't give two shits about Kuwait. There, I said it. I'm bored with Kuwait. She has shown us nothing interesting about Kuwait. She's done nothing to like, you know, like, like sell the country at all. I'm bored as fuck with this arc. I don't fucking care if Salad has money and if Salad didn't have money. If Salad really had money, he would have been able to get someone better than you. It is what it is, Chantal. It's not hateful. It's not nothing. He is the stereotypical, you know, golf arab man he doesn't want a barren 40 year old miserable mouthy bitch of a wife it is what it is jerry's keeper thank you for the super chat job you need money if you have a job you have money got it maybe try doing it yourself instead of relying on bullying people online and making up rumors for money <laughs> i know who Elizabeth, i don't want somebody supporting a goblin in my chat flabbera clearly does Wait, I want them to send more bucks of proof to myself. I'm here in the bedroom for the seventh time. <laughs> Crazed anime hunter. Thank you for the super chat, girl. I want every platform to stream snipe. But I'm so boring. I'm so boring. Literally. <laughs> send $100 and sell. I will show himself. Yeah, Joy. At least it's your unhappiness. Why do they insist on consuming it? It's disorder behavior. So true. Like, whatever. And I'm not unhappy. I'm the happiest I've ever been in a long time. Like, just because I speak. Oh, yeah. Oh my God, does it ever show, eh? This is the happiest she's been in a long time. It's Friday night, girl. Why aren't you spending it with your husband? Hmm? Instead, you're lashing out at reaction channels. Did he reject you again? Did something happen? Did you fight about the phone? Something happened. Give it. Give it. Makeup by Mickey. Thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah, what about like people being hypocrites and I'm not happy with being abused on a platform um, over and over again that I'm unhappy? Yeah, because of you guys, not because of my personal life, you know? But it's, I mean, it, it doesn't affect me to the point of making me unhappy. It's just- Oh my God, bun capture, right? Thank you for the super chat. It's lost all meaning. It's like a joke now. An ugly person inside and out, like goblin, loser, low life piece of crap, like these people affect my emotional health. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> like, no, of course I wouldn't be okay with the second wave. People, that's Islamophobic that's, or that's just like stereotyping Islam. They assume that every man is going to have four wives. They don't know anything about it. They, they talk out their ass. Like, you know what I mean? Seriously. Talk right out their ass. Like, if you want a second wife, you have to take care of her. And they don't live in the same house. You have There's so many different rules. It would, anyway, it's never going to happen. So Aww, I don't know. And Iglesias, thank you for the super chat. That's so cute. No. I'm good enough. Thank you. <laughs> That's what you're doing now, babe. I'm getting off soon. I can't believe I've been ranting for an hour. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways, I, I just find that really hypocritical that um, Goblin Head is, no, wait, what do we call her? John C. Riley? That John C. Riley is raging about my pet care when Shannon, her best friend, is even worse. Are you gonna Shut the fuck up. Shannon is even worse. That's why she tried to invent the thing about the dog and the this and that. Everything she said about Shannon's dog is absolutely not true. I, I'm sure anybody who's seen like Shannon's live streams and stuff, you see the dogs in a lot of them. The dog is like a playful, young, thriving, healthy, beautiful dog. Chantal is absolutely full of shit. And she made that whole thing up about Shannon's dog now to somehow take away from the fact that she's a documented animal abuser. And, oh, well, you can see what I did to BBJ, but what Shannon did to the dog is worse. You're batshit crazy, Chantal. You're never going to just succeed at whatever the fuck you're trying to do here, okay? For your bad luck, again, I love beating the foil all the time. I know Bo now. I love that dog. Literally love him. He's a delight. He's a beautiful dog. 
There was nothing wrong with Bo or the way that Bo was being treated at all. However, your cat was neglected for years. So thank God you don't have the cat anymore. Thank God you didn't get to euthanize a cat that had no business being euthanized. You are scum. You are a monster. And you should just shut the fuck up, Chantal. Maybe it is a good idea if you fucked off from YouTube for a month. Anna, thank you for the super chat, girl. Oh, congratulations. That's such good news. Amazing. Gonna be on TikTok. I wanted to go on TikTok, but it's already 2.30 and I'm so tired. Like we really need to go to bed because we have an effing life and need to get up and do things. Unlike people who just sit in their farty room and wait for me to upload. Do you qualify for the content ID program on YouTube? Get paid from there? I don't think so. Dream. Chantal, I appreciate you. Not for the wrong reasons, but for the right ones. I couldn't possibly imagine wasting my life, my time chasing someone I loathe. Jackie, the way thank they... you for the super chat. Exactly. It's, it's only traumatic because they've never been in their lives. They're not used to it. It's traumatic, right? To me, that just shows how little they were ever taken care of. If going to the vet is traumatic. Frozen Cones, thank you for the super chat. Happy weekend. Oh, <laughs> wait, no. Are you on a banana phone from another area in Kuwait? Like, what? how are you even, like, are you, wow. I have heard about my house. <laughs> the phone is coming. <laughs> yeah, I will, Crystal. Stupid people. <laughs> Give them nothing to talk about. I know. Don't worry, Joy. It's coming. Right? It's Very coming. good. It shows. She's so unbothered. Thank you for the super chat. You know what? Pretty, uh, pretty soon, no one's going to care about me, and I can't wait. <laughs> you know your hey, babe. Come, come sit down. No. Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> You're like, oh, no, no. no. Do you miss me? Yeah. I'm coming. I'm <laughs> coming. <laughs> you see that? A smile from a man who loves me. Something you'll never see. FFG. So keep BBJ. Torture BBJ for money all you want. Um, use my boring streams for your crappy content because you have no personality and no one will watch you unless, you know, you're talking about me. And not only talking about me, you can't get any views unless you're being a horrible piece of crap and that will catch up to you. And when it does, I cannot wait. I'll be singing and dancing. I'm being a horrible piece of crap. I think you mean thank you for taking BBJ to the vet. That's what you meant to say there, right? Right. Roxy the Rat Fink. Oh, I love your name, Roxy the Rat Fink. Thank you for the super chat. And I also love that she said that because crab is probably my favorite thing in the world. I love crab. Mm, delicious. Don't worry. <laughs> the drain rat. It keeps coming out. I'm going to put a piece of cheese for it. Are you going to do a video decorating for Ramadan? Hello, nervous. Ready, set, rabies. <coughs> I'm going to do an apartment reveal. Hello, nervous. People only watch me for me. I mean, really, what else? Like, I don't have to steal people's content. I don't even, like, other than these little rants, I don't ever talk about people, like, in my videos. Like, we're about to upload a vlog of us having a wonderful day. Can she say the same? No. All she's doing is, oh, what can I milk for BBJ now? Like, that's her life, you know? Aliria Sam, thank you for the super chat. I love when people send me money and then Salah deletes it. Um, oh, crap. Salah is in the apartment with Chantal. What a surprise. 17 months. Ready, set, rabies. <laughs> thank you. Uh, oh, ch cheese grater. You know what? Are you the moral police? My, what I do, haram, halal, is between me and God, okay? Not you and your super chat. So, <laughs> I do look flushed. Actually, it's because I have no filters, so my face, I, my cheeks are always red. Howie is awake. She's defending herself, and she is so much happy with me. You nailed it. Exactly. 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 All I ever do is only shut up mary l thank you for the super chat it's just so ridiculous like to have literally 200 channels and nitpick the dumbest things about you and then to be self-righteous in return when i defend myself or point out things we don't nitpick we don't nitpick anything you're an animal abuser at this point i would never have to say anything else i could just all day every day say but you're an animal abuser and i would still win every argument against you because you are an animal abuser nine lives thank you for the super chat girl Things. like okay literally name a rumor i've dispelled it i've literally proven things here's a rumor you're an animal abuser you'll soul thank you for the super chat i will and then but the thing is i show it and then people will be like it's photoshopped so call the authorities then like it's easy to find out we're married plain and simple that milky tea person whatever the, her name with the wig there who thought she was so right about everything and i had to react to her video wrong she's wrong the people no whenever i prove people wrong it doesn't even get noticed because nobody cares about the truth so if you're willing to just put up with flies for entertainment I will pray for you because you could be doing so many better things in the world. You know what I mean? Adult Wolf, thank you for the super chat. Totally agree. I think it's pretty obvious. Yeah. Hey, me. He's here. I want to get him. No, don't show it. Seriously, don't. It's no one's business. None of my life is anyway. Exactly. I would get tired of talking to a wall by now. Yeah, I know. I know, Tavi. It's like so frustrating because like, you know, 
Harry's Muslim? No. Well, that's definitely one of them, eh? Ninja Cat, thank you for the super chat. Go outrage about that. He's a rodent and we're putting him in the air fryer. Go call animal control. No one cares here. <laughs> they watch your every move, but call you boring. They need to admit that they can't live without you, of course. Anybody has anything about his religion is between him and his God. Not anyone's business. Go touch grass. Exactly. I wouldn't show them. They don't deserve access to that part of you. Exactly. Missy Rain, thank you for the super chat. Barbara, I wish they would. She's losing the momentum. I'm losing the will to live. What? I don't know any of that drama, Stan. I don't have time. The full size grown cat when I got her. I have pictures to prove it. So she was probably more on the two year old side. So she's 21. She's 21. Even 18 is a. Uh, she's absolutely not 21. She's most likely 17, but 18 for argument's sake on the vet's papers. Old enough age. Hey, Harry. <laughs> hey, Harry. Don't you bite me. Ow. Ow. He bit me. Yeah, fucking get her, hey, Harry. The rat bit me. <laughs> I love you, Howie. And I'm allowed to playfully make fun of my pets. Get a life. My boyfriend is still hurting from what? <laughs> Kaylee, thank you for the super chat. The tiny, some of them are really nice, yeah. <sighs> she's only saying the age thing because she's trying to make you look worse and you were considering euthanizing her. Exactly, but she euthanized her dogs. So make that make sense to me. How her audience comes to me, calls me an animal killer when I didn't kill anybody. So... No, you were an attempted animal killer. You wanted, you aspired to be an animal killer, but you didn't, thank God. Uh, you are, though, an animal abuser, and you were uh, negligent. Negligence. Winter Sun, thank you for the super chat, girl. But she did. So that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And the fact that adults cannot compute this in their brains or cannot make a logical thought is ridiculous. Why are you biting me? He's nibbling on my fingers. Yeah, BBJ's revenge, that's why. I have to watch Phoenix you when you're Thank you for the super chat. <clears throat> my cat had to be put down at 15 due to old age. Exactly, right? I'm sorry that you had to go through that. His big toe has its own YouTube. That's so pathetic. I just saw the vile goblin while she is sniping you when you said, if the Kuwait air is so boring, don't watch. And she ignored it and just said, thanks for the super chat. Of course, of course. People pay her to be hateful. That's all. She, that's all she'll ever be as a Lazy, dancing monkey. thank you for the super chat. <laughs> pay me enough to have that life. Not enough. No. You can have your shitty three, 4,000 viewers. All hate. Never, never. At the end of the day, you're a lonely piece of crap and you're vile and you're disgusting looking. Like you have no, no place at all talking about anyone's look. Look at there's a sweaty Funkle baby pig talking about someone's looks over and over as if it's Kate Moss fucking sitting there talking mad shit. Look in a mirror. Eh? Eh? Woof, bitch. Woof. Lisa, thank you for the super chat, girl. Looks. What they eat because you're not eating salads from the looks of you. Howie. Ow. I won't let him out right now, so he bites me hard. Stop it. Fine. Go, come on. Omnipotent Mama, thank you for the super chat, girl. He gets down on my leg, on my arm, look. No, I let you out because you bit me. Oh, I don't want to see the fucking rat. Now he's going to try to eat the crumbs in the cup. Harry. Tell. Thanks, Barbara. Yeah. Um, actually, we're going to be uploading another vlog soon, so. Um, She's a joke, too. Yeah, it's the whole, that whole community is a joke. Like, you can say be Islamophobic all you want and talk about how boring. Peter Thomas, Patricia Thomas didn't just say that I'm a joke. I'm a joke. You know what I never had to do, Patricia Thomas? <laughs> Pretend to be attracted to something like this to get papers to go to another country because I'm not able to figure out a way to stand up on my own two feet. That is a joke to me. You are a fucking joke. And so is that little slit in your eyebrows. Hmm? You're not a child. You're a fucking joke, though. Suzanka, thank you for the super chat. The Kuwait is nobody does that crap pathological crap here. No one okay. gives a I'm, fuck about how it is in Kuwait. Welcome to Canada. Stand it. Like it's disgusting. Actually, I've never seen a racist baby in my life. Like this. Uh, or even fat shaming. Like nobody talks about each other online like that. Oh, Salad said he's never seen a racist lady like this before in his life. You know what, Salad? Get fucked. How's that? Mm -hmm. Did you like that, Salad? I hope you like that. What? She's so toxic, honey. Ew. People, uh, well, if you look like her, oh, yeah, sure. wouldn't you? I would be bitter. God. This is so embarrassing. I'm really disgusting. Yep. To be honest. And another thing, salad. Um, does Morad toss your salad or does salad toss Morad's salad? That's the real question. Why don't you let us know, Patricia Thomas? 
you're important to have this many people sleeping. Zombies will probably be sensitive soon because of its origins in voodoo and nature. Rabbit, rabbit sugar, thank you for the super chat. Both end. Honestly, people twist anything anyways. She, she hey. made, uh, money, money! <laughs> money, money, money. It's pathetic. By exploiting BBJ things. And making up things. People want to talk about Chantal's low numbers, but there are probably hundreds of people taking her content and playing it themselves at this point. It's robbery. Yeah, that's I honestly, like, I don't know. Hey, I don't friends, know. Like, thank I, you for the super chat, girl. Break. Like, seriously. I know I always say that, but then, I don't know. I never do it. <clears throat> oh, that was the struggle meal. It's funny. There's so many struggle meals lately. It's it's hard to tell. Bloop. Chantal's red wig. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, the happiest she's ever been. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> Chef Haga, <laughs> ew. Hey, actually, I like when he nibbles on my finger. Okay, Harry, wait, I'm getting off. We're gonna go in the place. <sighs> He's this is drinking a booty. Thank you for so much for the super chat, girl. He's so cute. Yeah, no self awareness and massive. Protection. He's in apartment number three. Yeah, Barbara, for sure. We have a lot. We have a lot of vlogs up of us doing. Pretty much a lot of things, you know, but we will be doing more. Dino might same girl, same. I can't wait to see. I want to see her in the house with the air conditioner going and a fan on her and still sweating balls with come some kind of like filthy fucking sweat rag or something. I can't wait. Honestly, that's that's ugh, content. But yeah, that's good that you can watch. That's what I'm hoping to do. Like we're gonna probably do a series of um I want to drive around all the different uh towns, like different areas of Kuwait, like the little towns and the different areas oh lock harry into the open drain <laughs> i mean girl world bizarre thank you for the super chat i gotta say i also i love paying for everything i can with cash anyway i kind of feel him on that one but maybe he has shisty reasons i don't know literally i had to log into my this is what happened i don't watch this ugly disgusting goblin with 800 chins yes i'm insulting her and i love it i <laughs> I um, was logging into, I had to log into our Sala and Chantal account to uh, upload our blog. And on the recommended page, because this stupid, ugly goblin um, stream, she she puts my name in the tag so she can get views. So <clears throat> I saw the, the thumbnail of her talking about my pizza and my eating disorder, whatever. And the nerve. That's some bullshit. What is the thumbnail? I don't even remember what the hell was the thumbnail. The thumbnail says every bite sounds like torture. And it's the volume turned all the way up and like a loudspeaker near her mouth. Because when we started this stream, we were going to watch the other live that she had done earlier today. And I said, it's, I don't know if like the microphone is right by her neck or something. You hear every sound in that stream. You could hear him clicking his mouth. That's fat shaming you. Are you, are you insane? You are fucking insane. Chantal, just stop. I, I don't even know, honest to God, how to react to this shit anymore. You're, you're, you're mentally ill. If you look at that fucking thumbnail and you think that's fat shaming, get the fuck off the internet. You're projecting so hard. You hate yourself so much that that is fat shaming. Walk the fuck away, man. Honey, thank you for the super chat. Completely insane. Oh, 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 hold on. I, I love a deleted message. Another drive. Everything looks the same when we drive beige. What? Oh, oh, a drive on the fucking couple. I, I can't stand the driving. It's like somebody got kidnapped and they managed to keep their phone and they're filming out the window, hoping that someone will find their location from the video that they make while they're being kidnapped. I hate them. Vitamin chaos. Thank you for the super chat rule. Or like, what are you like? What are the, how are all of these 500 pound people with 900 chins suddenly experts in eating disorders? Where? 500 pound people. The projection, bro. <laughs> yeah, seriously. No, but seriously, you know what I mean, babe? Like, they, they comment on how I eat, but they're all serious, severely overweight. Take your own advice. Like, really. Rena Rue, she is disgusting. They try to cancel me. You can keep trying. It ain't going to happen. Let him try. Yeah, she is the rat guy. She's always been the rat guy. Thank you for the super chat, girl. <laughs> Look how cute he is. <laughs> oh, it's my hand, really? <laughs> No, Hi, let's make up a theory. That wasn't Salah's hand. That was, uh... <laughs> Look at his teeth. And his teeth also. Yeah. His teeth are still nicer than FFG's face. <laughs> <laughs> How did you like getting high and driving home to Montreal? Nobody cares about that. Yeah, because it didn't happen, you fucking lunatic. 
<laughs> How did you feel not getting high the first night you were back in Kuwait and you couldn't sleep because you didn't have the THC and your fake husband wouldn't fuck you either? <laughs> you should be used to that by now. But you think you're such hot shit. You can't fathom the idea that this man, just like every other man, won't touch you. And it's killing you. And that's why you spend every night rage streaming and stuffing your face instead of getting another hole stuffed. <laughs> such a shame. <laughs> I'm making, she makes fun of Cornwall like, as if she's not from NDG. Trashiest part of Montreal ever. Are you, you know what? Now you've gone too far, you fucking whore. <laughs> Listen, Sharmuta bin Sharmuta, that means whore daughter of a whore. Uh, if you ever again in your life smush the words Cornwall and NDG together in the same sentence, I will send NDG for you and you don't want that. Don't ever even put Cornhole and Montreal in the same sentence again. NDG is the gem of this city. Okay, it is what it is. Hmm? The nucleus, the best part, the diamond in the city. It's NDG. You come from the armpit of Canada and you're talking mad shit about the best fucking neighborhood that exists in this country? You swine. I've seen all over your court now. I wouldn't talk if I was you. Disgusting. Disgusting fucking shithole of a place to be born from. Born from? That's not a word. Funkle baby from court talking shit about NDG. Wow. You're so jealous. You're so jealous. You know what that is? She's jealous I live in Montreal. Koki lives in Montreal. Dee Dee's in Montreal. Everything she wants is in Montreal. <laughs> Stay mad, baby. You know who else is in Montreal, right? BBJ! <laughs> That's BBJ Feldman to you, bitch. You know? Karina Kaboom has a lot of nerve to talk. Hi. So cute. Anyways, want to go to bed. Rebe, nobody forget that FFG killed her two dogs back to back. And yeah, she, yeah, yeah, this yeah. is proof she's doing but it for club. Mommy, thank you for the super chat. She killed her dogs, Rebe. And people call me a cat killer when I didn't even effing euthanize a DBJ. Like they have no brains. They must all be like 15 with no brain. I, I can't think of anything else. That's right. Very good. You're absolutely right. Thank you for the super chat. Chantal, your parents are brother and sister. This is so. Dog uh, killer. Yeah, dog so killer. Cute. Dog killer. <clears throat> Just continue making your cute videos. Oh, we will. Yeah, actually, she's the, the real animal abuser. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at Harry's teeth. She's, a, we, she's a disgusting animal killer. Like, it's just pathetic, the hypocrisy. You know, uh... You guys sort of understand that I'm really staying quiet because I'm reporting the absolute shit out of the stream, right? Right. Okay. Uh, when I uh, open her live uh, by accident, you know, uh, I make him mute. I don't listen to her voice at all. I can't stand it. No, well, I know. Well, I swear. Like, he literally gagged one time. <laughs> it's like it's the most disgusting voice I've ever seen, or I've ever heard in my life. Really. Yeah. It's so disgusting. Getting high is legal, but FFG drove home high. Yeah, and they got all got on my ass about that. That's They use anything to try to be self-righteous, you know, to justify their BS, like... No, FFG absolutely did not drive home high. <laughs> you can keep saying it, it doesn't change shit. It doesn't at all. And it doesn't change the fact that you consistently drove high, Chantal. And you're an animal abuser. Mrs. B, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. But the Gigi thinks you're lovely. <laughs> well, thank you so much, girl. Appreciate that. Addicted to cold brew, thank you for the super chat. Can we just stream you just eating a huge salad? Ick. It leaves a bad taste in my mouth salad. They forgive anything she does. I know. Yeah, old meat. They don't hold her. Nobody holds her accountable for anything. Yeah, goblins. No, but seriously, where's the accountability? Where's the accountability? So you can shut that. I don't care. I'm not gonna be what? accountable to you. I don't care. Stay mad. That's my motto. Stay mad. You guys want stay mad merch? Honestly, if people, if you make people mad, you're doing something right. I guess. Well, that's it. Her voice uh, would be good for a haunted house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if they could just replay. Thanks for the super chat. And what would you be good for, Salad Boy? Hmm? What would you be good for? One-handed keyboarding, laughing like Goofy. Doing fuck all. Hmm? <laughs> Fake marrying a land whale. <laughs> Chrissy Meow, thank you for the super chat, girl. With like a wobbly chin in the background. Yeah. Ew, a punching bag chin. And uh, the people, they're happy. 
about uh, open chats. She don't read anything. She just read some of the super chats. Yeah, I don't have open chats. Obviously, my numbers are going to be lower, and there's no drama. I would rather that. And actually, I saw. I noticed that she have many uh, people. They block the people. Also, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the message, it's a few. Oh. Yeah, of course. She's a coward. The so fuck? She sits there in her hug box calling me a coward. Are your comments still on, liar? West Coast girl, thank you for the super chat. Broken heart from the other dog being gone. So she's okay with mercy killing for for way less than BBJ's ailments and at her age than, you know. And part of the reason I was going to consider euthanasia was because of the trauma it would be to rehome her. Imagine having to live with French fried goblin. Like, there, she smokes. Number one, she doesn't live with me. Number two, the cats never looked so good ever, Chantal. And that's part of what you're so fucking butthurt about tonight. And I love that the most. Emma Wee, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Yes, yeah, stop it, Chantal. She'll never stop. She's disgusting. Disgusting. Stay mad, Chantal. I don't know what to tell you. I seriously hope that this cat outlives you. Hmm? Lala, thank you for the super chat, girl. They smoke because the one picture of BBJ had cigarette burns in the blanket. So you're totally fine. Oh, oh, it smoked weed. Of Literally not cigarette burns and it's not a blanket. It was a deceased pet's bed that the pets nest on. It made little holes over the years and the bed's been washed and washed and washed. And that's the way the material curled after being washed a bunch of times. It's a cozy spot, a well-loved spot. And BBJ Feldman loves that spot. She felt cozy from day one on that spot couple times around them. I don't chain smoke red cigarettes in front of my cats. Okay. Seriously. No, you went to a fucking crackhead's house, picked up a glass pipe off the floor and smoked the meth in it. You really talking mad shit about cigarettes? You judgy bitch. You fucking smoked anything and put any powder up under your nose that you could get your hands on. Take it down a notch. Jolene Jones. Thank you for the super chat girl. Get a life. <laughs> Crystal, yeah. Just rest in peace for her dogs. Yeah. The dogs, uh, which, uh, she killed them. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Plain and simple. For a lot, lot, lot less than what I was going to, like, uh, bring BBJ to the vet to get figured out, you know? Mm. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> My hair. He's a nice dog because it was sad. Okay. Is that for real? If she did that, she's a bigger piece of crap. Nobody would euthanize a dog because they the dog was sad. Uh... <laughs> anyway, I've never even told the story of what happened with Maggie at the end, okay? And I'm never going to tell that fucking story because pieces of shit on this fucking platform and Twitter and this bitch and stuff just warp everything you say. It was a very traumatic night, the night that Maggie died, okay? It had nothing to do with Maggie being lonely or sad or whatever. Did that maybe bring her to the state she was in on the last couple of days? Yes, absolutely. fucking -lutely. But to say that a dog was euthanized because they were sad or had anxiety is the stupidest shit I've ever fucking heard, okay? You might have tried to starve the dog for a couple of days and then bring it in for an end-of-life consultation, but I'm not that type of bitch. That's you. Luminera, thank you for the super chat. And um, like I said, she condones her friend locking her dog in the room forever because she can't control it. Nobody Ew, locks her dog in the room forever except for when you're there. Miranda, thank you for the super chat, girl. What kind of brand of cigarettes? Res, res, res cigarettes. Those, those bag cigarettes that are like 20 bucks a carton and they'll kill you and like they take like 15 life. They take 15 years off your life. Ew. Salah, we don't care about your hair. You're handsome. Oh my. You have the, you're the most handsome and you have my <laughs> lives. Thank you for the super chat. She absolutely does. Um, Wait till you see our vlog later. That's my, uh, Here yeah, this is, yeah, for your wife. The other ones are for your other wives. Oh, okay. You know how jealous I am. I would never, right? I'm enough to handle, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> what the time? 90. Yeah, I need to go. 90. I'm so tired. Harry. Well, I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, guys. Imagine that, mashallah. I dress doo-doo saying Chef Thank you for the super chat, girl, or the super sticker. Doo-doo. Of course she would say that. Doo-doo is me khara, me shit. She's saying that Natchard is better looking than you. Please. Uh, with his uh, teeth? Okay. He just he looks like a donkey. Uh, do you know what Shrek with a donkey? <laughs> What's donkey in Arabic again? Hamar. Hamar! That's right. And you are Hamar. I've been Hamar. I've been saying it, bitch. And I will keep saying it. And this guy is the biggest fucking Hamar in Kuwait. Because you know what? A lot of people pull this scam to cut to papers or whatever the fuck. They do not pull it with land whales like Chantal. Hamar. 
<laughs> you fucking failure as a man whore. I love it. Charity McPherson, thank you for the super chat. Shrek Dudu and the donkey is not exactly right. It's totally fit. Can you address Salah being a hyper realistic holographic projection? You funded. Oh, nice one. Alien or what? I'm embezzling Oh my god, he's in the lab. Oh, Colonel. I'm sweating. I was sweating earlier, but now I'm okay. My face is, my cheeks are just always red, you know? Yeah. Anyway, here I am with no filters, still cute, and I don't even have hardly any makeup on. So damn cute. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Not really, but thanks. <laughs> no, it's He's really. fucking trolling her. I love Salah. Love. Thank you, Crystal. I love your beard. Thank you. Bug killer. They've aged themselves reacting to you. FFG's face is literally falling. Kai's mole has grown to the size of Jupiter. Yab is 500 pounds and double fits, Mexi double fits Mexican corn. Sarah looks like a death mask. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. And by the way, uh, after the blow and do. Okay, wait, I have to do this. <laughs> yeah. Gang <Youngest> star. <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> oh my gosh. What the fuck was that? What did I just see? What was that? I swear to God, I need to throw out my sunglasses. He's just, he makes me hate them. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Is that your fuck boy move? <laughs> you can't even fuck boy right. Ugh. And, and people will say, you're not any better doing this. Yes, I am better because you know what? I defend myself once in a while. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't have channels and live streams for hours targeting people every day. FFG it doesn't and, happen. Yeah. FFG and her community are hypocrites. They're hypocrites. Big time hypocrites. That's my whole point of this stream. And then laughing right in her fat, ugly face because she says things like, I'm not kidding. I'm not going to react to her because it's so boring. Her, 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 her Kuwait arc is so boring. Really? It's so boring. So boring and she's covering every day. Everything about it. One or two lives. Yeah. Everything. She's doing every. Patricia Thomas, shut the fuck up, number one. Number two, you should say thank you. Shukran to me. You should be saying it, Patricia Thomas. If it wasn't for me, no one, and well, not just me, me and the other reaction channels, no one would be watching because of you. Because of you, Hamar. You understand? You are boring. As boring as she is, we would still be watching if it was her. No one likes you. Call Pete's. Leave, okay? Patricia Thomas, get the fuck out of here. No one cares. Bella Rose, thank you for the super chat. She probably did. For every detail you do it, yeah. she'll make a whole life for two, three hours. At her size. Is this Kuwait boring? So why are you watching? At her why are you watching size. FMG? What, Asha. half yours? Jesus Christ, man. She will say, no, thanks for the super chat. She will ignore this. <laughs> uh, sometimes people deserve a taste of their own medicine, yeah. Seriously, like, to talk about me eating pizza? Are you kidding? That was President ever... Camacho, thank you for the super chat. And I love how pissed. He is over the super chat. It's funny. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> oh, I sounded just like her. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> you guys, I saw Chantel. Please, please, baby. Oh, I want to keep loving you. Don't, 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 don't imitate her Ew. freaking voice. Please. Ew. I, want, I don't want to puke now Ew. because of her voice. Ew. Disgusting. With her face. It is a nightmare, old meat. You're right. It's a literal horror movie. Imagine. Victory is ours. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> I don't have a cash app now. Um, cat up thing. <laughs> I know when like, cat. Thank you for the super chat, girl. You went there. <laughs> Ew. Imagine if FG working at uh, McDonald's sure drive. Yeah. Ew. Ew. I wouldn't touch the food. <laughs> Tell me, was Allah the same. <laughs> YouTube takes so much yeah, money. Yeah, Elizabeth. You're eating food that Chantal makes, and you're worried about me cooking food. First of all, salad. I'll never cook food for you again. I don't need to sponsor somebody. <laughs> Second of all, um, I, you eat what she cooks. You live around that thing. <laughs> live your best life. Bees and let bees. You disgust me, the two of you. You because you're disgusting, Chantal. And him because he's willing to put up with this. How desperate are you? What a fucking loser. You know, if you have no talent at all, it's very difficult to leave your country. Hmm? You have to be good at something. Bloop, bloop. I guess nobody cares for a one-handed keyboardist. Mm, oh, piano girl, as I say, one-handed keyboardist. <laughs> uh, Alice, thank you for the super chat, girl. Yeah. I don't like how YouTube takes so much. Ew, for Halloween, yeah. <sighs> exactly. It's so disgusting. Ew. Like, I, I don't know. Like, she talks, like, her whole dream is talking about my, the pizza. At her size. Have we even? No one's talking about your pizza. It's not about the pizza. Stevie Supernova, thank you for the super chat. It's like down here, her gullet. Yeah. She has a gullet. She's disgusting. Gullet. So maybe I have chins? 
Okay, get past the gullet. Let's move down to your fucking two stomachs. Your second stomach is way bigger than my gullet. Do you not understand that? You have two weird fucking belly buttons. You can't sit on the floor and cross your legs. You can't tie your own shoes. You can't wipe your own ass. I could go on here, Chantal. You are delusional. We have a gullet. So which one's better? Suck on lolling. I'll stick with my gullet and the ability to wipe my own poop. Thank you. So... So she can have her hate money. I don't care. She can have her hate views. I don't care. At the end of the day, she doesn't have him. She doesn't have a life at all, period, beyond obsessing over mine and my leftovers. So, she has, And it won't last forever. Yeah, she has uh, no contempt. Exactly. No life, exactly. no boyfriend. Even yeah. her family, they don't like her. <laughs> no, her family's weird. Salad, you really saying that? When's the last time your family spoke to you? It seems like you're the one. Your family doesn't like you anymore because, you know, you're willing to put up with land whale. And they, they don't agree with your life choices. When's the last time you spoke to anyone in your family? Salad. Mm -hmm. Projection. Aww. <laughs> Elizabeth, thank you for the super chat. They talk about me too, even her family. Like they have family dinner and they talk about me. Freaking weirdos. People should super chat her dog killer. Exactly. Like, you are like the nightmare for them or what? <laughs> yeah. Uh... She, like, exactly, Salad. She's like the fucking nightmare in my family. The Void, thank you for the super chat. Like old meats, orange julep. Yeah, it is like orange Julius. Yeah, I have a few suggestions. You, Mama, by the way, uh, I'm waiting for this, huh? For this uh, blue window. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, and we want you to go after Missy Moon. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, but seriously, like that. Like she's she's another weirdo. You said it. I can't get power, power. Thank you for the super chat. She acts like she's like a big important person. Like she has nothing intelligent to say. Everyone who worships her blindly is just stupid and ridiculous. More stupid than her. She like seriously. Ew. Anyway. If you want to be dumb, go for it. That's no skin off my ass. She really makes us um, sound like a call day worships blindly. Girl, shut up. Just Jamie, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, they can be Bert and Ernie for sure. Missy was so she's so like, I don't know how you go from one minute to like defending and being like, they're obviously so weird. Like in DMs, we have the DMs of them being like, we would never talk about you. Oh, this and that. Like, oh, um, they're so full of crap. It's oh, this is pause worthy. Grind time powers. Thank you for the super chat. Every single dime that I have, everything I own. I put it on Koki. Koki could beat the shit out of salad. We know your everything is true. And now all of a sudden trying to dig into like theories that haters come up with. You're okay with yourself? With you get all fucking you. cracked out and just go nuts on him. You know what I mean? About, uh, things. <laughs> trying to say you're a scammer basically after condemning mm. the hate channels for that same Elizabeth, news. thank you for the super chat. Proved enough, not that we have to, that our love is not fake. Please give me a break. Who is he going to get better at? Someone like FFG? Like, this person's mm. criticizing, like, him being with me? Who would you? She just said, who is he going to get better than her? Who is he going to get better than me? <gasps> she did not just really say that. Oh, oh. Why do you enjoy when people make jokes? You keep setting everyone up to make the jokes. Wait, I'll go puke. <laughs> Don't say her name, please. Blue window is a new window. It got all the Yeah, Mimi, rub. Yeah. Can't be beat. If you mess with Chantal, you better run because being stuck in the blue window ain't going to be fun. <laughs> a new song era coming. That's what I was going for, Echo Eris, and I didn't know anyone would get it. You got it, girl. It's not about the pasta. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I will not believe it until I get OnlyFans proof. Yeah. That's the thing. Like People think you have to make out on camera. Like What couples do that? Not many. Give me a break. Anyway, people can think that all they want. I don't really care about that. Like, seriously. But uh, all I care about, my point was just to point out a few, like, hypocrisy things. Like, number one, like the, I'm not going to react to her in Kuwait. It's too boring. Oh, really? Every single day you've reacted to me. Do you realize that? Because you're When did I ever say I wasn't going to react to her in Kuwait? I said I wasn't going to react to her every day in Kuwait. And since the beginning of March, uh, we've pretty much done one day on, one day off. One day on, way less than we normally do. Because it's so fucking boring. I don't want to do it every day anymore <laughs> because it's because of the Kuwait content. It is what it is. No one said I wasn't going to watch. I'm going to watch whatever the fuck I want to watch until you don't get to dictate what I watch. Dumb. Um, and number two, don't ever talk about my eating habits when you look like a bullfrog who made it with John C. Riley. You stupid biatch. Okay. Sorry for my language. Number three, you killed your dog. So your audience needs to cool it on calling me a cat killer. Attempted cat killer, we will keep calling you, and we're gonna keep on calling you an animal abuser hmm? and a negligent pet owner. Absolutely will. Has nothing to do with my dogs. 
has everything to do with you. You're disgusting. I'll never let anyone forget this. T TikToks, schmick talks. I don't give a fuck. I will bring this up a year from now. We're going to talk about the fucking cat abuse that went on. This will follow you forever. I'll make sure of it, Chantal. This is who you are and you deserve for this to follow you. When you euthanized your dogs, okay? For a lot less. Um, and then Shannon, Shannon, really, your best friend Shannon blocks her dog, poor dog in the room because she can't handle it. So, and yeah, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the super chat and the one I missed. Girl. I bet for baby shots. Are you going to pay for that? Or are you too busy buying coke for each other when I you go to Cornwall? Shannon's dog uh, was uh, biting the nipples. Right? Exactly, that's what I said. What is he talking about? Patricia Thomas, you don't even know what you're talking about from the other side of the world. What are you talking about? And again, the Coke thing. I take that to heart because never, never once in my life, I'm going to pay for someone's Coke. Full, full over my dead fucking body, I pay for somebody's Coke. People who do Coke, I tend to dismiss. It might be my flaw. I've dismissed friends. I'm like never spoken to them. My, my best two friends in life when I was younger, both took up Coke at different times. I stopped talking completely cold turkey, both of them. It's who I am. I don't fuck with that shit and I hate people who do. I just don't vibe with them. Hmm? Keep projecting, Chantal. You're the one who does coke. You're the one who does everything they get their hands on. You're the one who brought it over to Shannon's house. It's you. Again, it's not me. Hmm? You're the one who drives high. It's not me. It's all you. You're disgusting in every way that a person can be disgusting. Malarkey meter. Thank you for the super chat. Wow. 3.20 a.m. in Kuwait. Happiest she's ever been sitting there with her Patricia Thomas. Love that so much for both of them. Dollface, thank you for the super chat. And it has rabies or something. And uh, that time she should... Like FFG. Yeah, that time she should take the dog for the vet. Yeah. Uh, then she said, oh, and this month I will take him to the vet. In this month. Yeah, exactly. Must be immediately. Must be immediately, like you demanded of and me. nobody talk about her. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they talk uh, about uh, smoking weeds. What the fuck while is Patricia Thomas talking about? Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. Oh, nice. yeah. Yeah. Chris. I will yeah. never do yeah. memberships, never. For you, you're not saying you've never been exposed to shit people yeah, like this. I, I was searching and, <laughs> and see the videos. I saw everything. Let's forget about her. Yeah, <clears throat> and she abandoned her, her um, daughter, yeah, because she couldn't handle her too. Um, what else? Yeah, that's another crazy one that she said the when it on Valentine's Day, I believe it was something about oh Shannon's daughter isn't even at the home. And so I met Shannon's daughter on that day. She was at home. I don't know what this psychopath is even talking about. She talks so much shit about Shannon. Like in two visits to Shannon's house, uh ninety percent of everything she said, I can already say, yeah, that's not true. Yeah, that's not true. She's crazy. All of this, all the shit she is slinging tonight is just trying to detract from the fact that she's an animal abuser. Yvonne, thank you for the super chat, girl. And then you have Missy Poo, who, uh, Messy Poo, who has the nerve, has the nerve to be self-righteous uh, about the, the and, and defend just boozing after just a couple of weeks ago, comparing her to Casey Lordy Anthony. Hershey. I love it. Thank you for the super chat, girl. You're all shit without me. So good night. Sorry, that's my last venting. I have to get it out before Ramadan. Okay. <laughs> it's so hard. But yeah, no, like people here in this part of the world, like, okay, you say, oh, well, you should be thankful you come from Canada. Really? Really? Well, guess what? Being a resident here will allow me to not pay taxes and catch up on being taxed millions of freaking dollars. Um, people are struggling in Canada to even like pay rent. People make like three, thirty five hundred, I think a month of the average is the average Canadian wage and people have to pay like $2,000 in rent. It's ridiculous. And Let's just be clear. Nobody who would live in a disgusting pit like that would pay $2,000 for it. Okay. Uh, if you go for like equivalent places, you could find some little shithole under like a bridge or something. And it would look very much like where you live now. And it would probably be next to free. Not just that. It's cold, depressing. And people are allowed to say whatever they want about people. They're allowed to cause people. Cold and verbal depressing abuse. as she's sweating balls and it's not even summer yet. I mean, not that, but you would get thrown in jail. Instantly you would get fined. There's no way you would talk crap. Nobody does that here. People have, you know what I mean? Like, says the woman who's been talking crap for hours now. Nobody talks crap in Kuwait. Look at how disgusting you are in Kuwait and everywhere else you go in the world. But specifically right now in Kuwait, disgusting. And for some reason, you're still allowed to walk free. Waddle free, whatever. Janet Pirate, thank you for the super chat, girl. So many reasons. So many reasons. Like, people think, like, a lot, even people from here probably think, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Rebe. Okay, guys. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Lisa Lynn. Did you trim your beard? No, I just uh, define it. 
to find Sonli. And I make it Vanessa, I cannot look. wait for Summer in Kuwait. She is going to melt down in more ways than one. I can't wait. She's going to be so mad. <laughs> Literal steam coming out of her ears okay, and shit. <laughs> so, guys, I think it's the end for today. <laughs> Thank God. Libul or people? Oh, okay, Libul. Uh, <laughs> people have respect there, okay? Yeah, there's respect here. <laughs> the, the people respect each other here, yes. Yeah. But it's okay. So you have to end the fight. Yeah. Slay. <laughs> you say <laughs> You love the blue. The blue window and the drain right now are part of the family. Is the drain still closed? Yeah. Mm. And the, the blue window will uh, will keep it as a gift for anyone, any hater, you know? There's new ones every day. <laughs> Anyways, I'm done bitching for today. So, Brie Bear my perks. <laughs> <Where's>... <laughs> You make characters so easily. Like what? JJ, I'm dying. <laughs> and the stream yeah, for the love the of God. Of our vlog that we're going to put out on our couple's channel um, later. No one it's cares about like your night couple's and day. channel. Like, it's so awesome to have a good camera for vlogging and stuff. Oh. You know? Like Goblin should try vlogging. Oh, wait. She did and got like a thousand views. Sorry. Which one? Oh, Goblin, Goblin. doesn't. Oh, oh, now I'm calling myself Goblin. I don't vlog, you fucking failure. And if I did, I'd do it better than you. Nobody cares about her driving around Montreal. She's so boring. Do we have plans? Yes. Oh, yeah. We... Look at oh, you. Yeah. A fucking robot just called me boring. That's hilarious. <laughs> We're not organized enough. Failure of a fuck boy. Though. Yeah. I'm all day. Yeah. Does your new phone have better night low light exposure? Yeah, it does. And I know I'm on here. Like, mm -hmm. I shouldn't be talking like swearing or whatever. You know, and it's true. And it's it's really hard, though, like to change. Like, I'm going to say this now. I'm going to do my absolute most to trigger the fuck out of this bitch during Ramadan. It is what it is. Hmm? Stay mad, baby. Maybe you should stay away from the internet for a month. Coming from the type of personality I've always had, you know, I try it, but I slip up. <laughs> well, you're, well, you, but I'll never stop trying. We have to nail down the drain, yeah. Oh, the gin, yeah. I forgot about the gin. <laughs> yeah, I know, I gotta go. Actually, I'm kind of excited. I don't. I'm. I really want to feel better, and just be my best self, you know. Just guys, all uh, pray for the two dogs uh, killed by FFG. <laughs> pray. Seriously. Yeah. Pray for the fuck boy who's bad at every single thing in his life and couldn't figure out a way to leave his shithole of a country, not even his country, a country that doesn't want his dumb ass either, couldn't think of a way to stand up on his own two soft feet and leave on his own and has to align with a land whale to get the hell out of there. Pray for him. Don't pray for him. Don't waste your prayers. <laughs> yeah, rest in peace. I don't know. I heard a rumor like she killed her second dog. <sighs> oh, my life. God. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm sick to death of this. You know what? I heard a rumor that your uncle is your father. Hmm? Why don't you address that rumor? Because it's actually really likely. You have a photocopy of each other's faces. And you have half toes. And you have weird fucking eyelids. Okay? That's the rumor I heard. Address it, Funkel Baby. Anxiety from the first dog that died. Okay, if it's if it's right to uh, to uh, to kill the dog by vet, it's okay. But why she come for you? Yeah, exactly. And talk about you and call you animal abuser. Just review yourself. Yeah. Uh, Salad. It makes me so happy that you're never coming to this country. I get a, a little smirk on my face every time you insist on speaking. I smile knowing that you'll never fucking be here with your weird fucking robotic behavior, and your shaved eyebrow, and your failure of a fuckboy ways. <laughs> the last thing we need is you. You understand? Stay mad, baby. <laughs> uh... And all this time you'll have wasted with a land whale for nothing. Treatment. Psycho. I hope you <laughs> psycho. I'll share so yeah, I want to go live at the gym, maybe, or we'll see. Um I hope he doesn't harass Howie. No, he doesn't, because I keep Howie in the room, so Nick444, thank you for the super chat. I'm like a literal hamster mom. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> and you guys, I want to do a video of me carrying him around the apartment. He goes like this on my hands and looks around like an explorer no one cares. with his ears. He has teddy bear ears. He's so cute. Okay, we gotta go now. Um. Uh, JJ said, "Baba Masa." Okay. What does that mean? Good night. 
Oh, good night. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later. See you. Good night, guys. Bye. Quit boring. No, I think it's just you, robot. You're boring and you're good at nothing. <laughs> a lot of people who don't have like tangible skills in life are real good at being fuckboys because they learn to lean on it because they know they're not good for anything else. You can't even do that, right? <laughs> well done, salad. Well done. <laughs> it's just so pathetic. I don't even know what to say to this loser. That was so repetitive. We just watched them repeat like the same points over and over and over. Wow. So what's up with the rats? Well, okay, I'm going to long story short it now because Lord knows we're not watching that stream now. Jennifer Lynn, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. So the stream we were going to watch um, <laughs> was Chantal earlier today explaining that a rat had come up the drain in the bathroom. And there was like a rat running around the bathroom near the washer and dryer. So she went to close the, the thing. The rat went back down the drain. The rat popped back up and was in the house again. So, you know, I had, I turned that into, they have rats. <laughs> she put something on the drain when it went back in the drain. She put something to like block it. Apparently it's still holding. She just asked salad. The rats are still not in the bathroom, but I don't care. She had the nerve to call me ghetto and shit tonight. She's living in a rat infested Kuwaiti trap. Uh, ground floor windowless cell of a dwelling talking shit about how other people live. No, it's not Harry. It's an actual rat that came up through the drain in the bathroom. <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> Ooh, I would run away screaming and crying and maybe burn the whole building down. I don't fucking know. A rat hovel. Well, <laughs> rats are probably more hygienic than her. I mean, you're not wrong. Oh, rats are wonderful pets. We're not talking about pet rats. We're talking about rats who came running up through a sewer. That's not the same thing. Let's not let's not start comparing that, okay? That's like you're 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 sitting there pooping and a fucking rat just pushes the drain open and starts running around your bathroom. I swear to god, I would die. <laughs> I would go running butt naked out of the place. <laughs> Fuck this shit up out, you know? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yeah. So that basically is the long and short of what we didn't watch tonight. <laughs> the only thing to take from that stream. The chewing was disgusting. It sounded so loud. And she ate pizza that had hot dogs on it and ketchup. Foodie beauty, y'all. A real gourmet meal. Mwah. Okay, well, that stream that we just actually reacted to was disgusting and broke so many of the terms of service of YouTube. Wink. Um, just saying, just pointing that out in case it wasn't already blatantly obvious. Shoehorn, thank you for the super chat. You brought out the pet rat committee. Look, pet rats are not fucking wild sewer rats. It's not the same. That's disgusting. That's what I'm saying. That's a great point. With so many stray cats in the place, how the fuck can there be so many rats? I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't want to get it. Don't, please don't analyze it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to puke. I've never been so happy to be in Canada in my life. Listen, Greece also has rats. My dad just tell me stories about fucking rats. And once I was a baby in the carriage and there was a fucking rat that came near me, my dad had to kick the rat. It was a whole fucking thing, okay? I'm not trying to act so prissy like I don't fucking come from a rat place too. I'm a fucking sewer rat, okay? I don't live, I didn't grow up in the sewer rat location. So to me, that is so fucking foreign. No, no, like, no, I, I'm not pooping in a place or like bathing in a place where a random rat could just like pop up in the drain. Hell no. Hell no. Oh, God bless Canada. I love this place. Dad, I'm so glad you fucking came here. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Okay. Listen, I'm traumatized tonight. Everybody, that was a long one. And it took a lot out of us. It was very repetitive. She was ragey, but it's repetitive. I hate her guts. She came for NDG tonight. She insulted the dogs every fucking way. She tried to throw in Shannon under the bus for no reason. And why? Because the, the, the papers from the vet were posted tonight. Hmm? 
of like vets are calling it animal neglect. Vets are saying you come from a neglectful situation and that you un, you know, uh, for, for no reason at all wanted to euthanize the cat. So your butt hurt and you're trying to throw everything in there, trying to lessen what this means. You can't change what you are. And that's an animal abuser. And I'm going to keep reminding you of that. And I don't care who doesn't like it. I swear to God, we won't even mention it two weeks. And then just poof, I'm going to say, hey, you guys remember? She's an animal abuser, huh? I'm going to keep bringing it up. I don't fucking care. It's who you are, Chantal. Disgusting. Everybody, thank you so much for being here tonight on kind of a long one. I didn't think it would get so long or so ragey, but here we are. Everybody, it is St. Patrick's Day. It's Friday night. If you're going out tonight, have a good time. That's number one. But please, please be careful. Be safe. Keep your eyes on your drinks. Keep your fucking wits about you. And if you're driving tonight, you remember what I said on New Year's? Hesitate. The light turns green. You hesitate for a second. It literally can save your life. And I'm not fucking kidding, okay? Be safe, everybody. Keep your masks on. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.